I see Sarah Lee. I see Carrie. I see Dragonfly Attic. Grandma's Haunted Hutch. Ooh, I like that name. Side Street. Hollyberry. Hi, Sandy girl. Hi, Karen. Hi, Elaine. I have Emma is sitting right here next to me. She is helping me keep track. Is there a delay? She's letting me know. Are you live from the link? Oh, you know what? I'm not. Yeah, that's what I thought. Wait. Am I live from the link? It said 20 people were waiting. Yeah. I'm live from the link. It wasn't showing up at first. Oh, yeah. I'm live from the link, right, guys? Hi. So I have, Emma's a little upset with me because I have a lot of things, but. Hey, clean off your camera. It looks a little. Okay, hang on, guys. Clean off your finger with your shirt. Well, I did it with my finger. Is that better? With your... A little bit, I guess. Okay. Hi, I am live. Hi from Las Vegas. Okay, Emma's a little upset with me because, you know, I had said that I was just going to do like 40, 40 things. Well, I'm doing 69. 70 things. 70 things, actually. No, 69 things. Okay. So I just wanted to say, but here's the thing. I'm doing a lot of ephemera and a lot of small things today. So it, it, it won't be, I'm not, it's not, I'm not making it too hard on myself. You know, Emma isn't going to be able to help me tomorrow because her her boyfriend's here and he leaves tomorrow and she goes back to school on Friday. So I'm on my own. Although start, starting next week, Emma will be still helping me uh, during my lives like she is right now, but she'll be doing it remotely. So everyone's saying hi to you, Emma. Can you Hello. can you can you see that? All right. Yeah. So I wanted to say too. I have. I'm doing. I'm doing. Four brooches in a lot, but I have a bonus brooch because you know we're trying to bring the brooches back and look at this beautiful brooch here. This is a vintage brooch. I know that it's not blue. I tried to find another blue, but I didn't, but isn't this pretty? I love the shape of it. So this will be offered at the very end as a bonus brooch. The one that's right off of my shirt. Yeah, right off, take giving you the brooch off my back. So it'll be offered up at the end. And if you purchase something today, your um, card will be put back into a, the bucket and we'll do a drawing. And the winner will receive this cute little kind of frozen Charlotte-esque girl. She's holding a little baby doll. It is, she's made in occupied Japan. So this is the little the price for today. I try to pick something that's small that won't really matter any with shipping. So this is going to be the giveaway today. I love me some Occupy Japan and I like little frozen Charlottes. So look at her doll. Her doll is like kind of, kind of spooky looking, but this is the giveaway today. All right. You don't know if your dog, well, listen, she said she doesn't know if her daughter's going back to college. Emma is an RA, so even if all of the classes are all online, as long as there are residents living in the college apartments, she still has to report to duty. She's, she's not hoping that they close down the, the campus because of you know what, but if she does, she's got the apartment upstairs that she um, can come home to, but I mean, we're hoping that they, they stay open, but I think she kind of would like to be living in her nice, beautiful apartment. So fingers crossed that everybody will be able to go back to campus and live as normal, but it would be, it's a tough, a tough time to be a college student, I think, because I remember my college days and I wouldn't have wanted to be sitting stuck inside my apartment all day. No. We can't do anything. Mm -mm. So, but anyway, um, all right, let's see, what should we start with? Well, I have my bucket full of tags. And look, I got some stickers from Fat Bird Finds. Graham made me some stickers. Look at this one. It says, nutrition facts, serving size, thrifter, amount per serving one, junk, 90%, calories, 120, antiques, 94%, cleanliness, 32%, mm. rust, 81%, nostalgia, history, discovery, smile, percent daily values are based on thrifters, junkers, and vintage hunters. So he made that for me. For Christmas. So thank you, bub. Someone asked if a painting is for sale. The, that one? Oh no. This one is. This one's mine. 
I love it. And you know what? This frame is plastic. It's not even a wooden frame. But I got that at an auction and I fell in love with it. And I have a huge one by the same, it's just an amateur artist that I got from an auction. And it's, it's huge. I have another one that's hanging up in the shop too. All right, I have my all of my cards in my bucket. The, th the rules of the, sh the sale is I'm going to hold up an item. Everything has a number assigned to it. So the first person to, um, to type that number in the chat will be the person that will uh, get the opportunity to purchase that item. Make sure that you are in live chat and not in top chat. Sometimes moving from your cell phone to your computer helps. I know that when I'm watching a live sale, my cell phone uh, feed is much faster than my computer feed. And if you're trying to watch on the TV and you're trying to buy something, then you're, that your, your lag is really bad on the TV. So oh, that's... Their name will show up first. Yes, and your name will typically show up first. So you always have to refresh. Emma is sitting right here. She refreshes after every sale. So she makes sure that the person get. is getting the item that signed up for it. I do have a couple offer ups. All of my offer ups. We're going to kind of see how it goes. Does Shirley it seem Pearl. to be? I should, Emma Hi. said, Emma said, Shirley Pearl. Is the lag okay? So we, it's okay. So we do offer ups for a minute or a minute and a half. Okay, so we're going to do offer ups. Um, Emma has a timer and they will be timed for one minute and the person that has the highest offer above the stop when Emma types in stop will be the winner of that item. And I think that's it. Oh, you have to send me an email with your actual name, your YouTube name, your full shipping address and your PayPal email address. Um, all everything needs to be uh, purchased via PayPal. That's the processor. So if you don't have a PayPal account, go ahead and get one. It's free. You can link your credit card or your debit card to your PayPal account. PayPal is just the processor and my accountant wants me to keep them all in one spot. So that's what I am doing. And also look at my shirt. It says chapter two vintage coat. My girl Alex's merch. So make sure you check out her merch on her channel chapter two vintage co i have merch as well uh, if you would like to check out that actually i just reminds me i have some ideas that i'm going to run through emma because she's wanting to do a few few new designs for me so that will be you know up in the works um Rolly, my email address is thrifter junker vintage hunter at gmail.com the um once this video goes up live my email is in the description it's actually in the description of all of my um youtube videos so if you need to go back and look you can always do that so are we ready we got si 69 things to start so let's go ahead and get started if you have a question about something put it in all caps or no just at me at or emma. at emma if you put at emma lee, lee, lee. then she'll see it and she can answer it or I can answer it or whatever that goes. Yeah. All right, let's go. I have my champagne bucket full of cards. Let's see what the first one is. All right. I have these two beautiful. Oh, the theme is like blue and white. I'm totally copying off of Jeffrey, by the way. Jeffrey did a blue and white wow. sale. I know I copied off of him and I, I thought it was a great idea. It was a brilliant idea. So I have these set of two bowls. These are Hazel Atlas. They are white with the, uh, the painted teal on the outside. So you can see that they are in really nice conditions, that beautiful teal. I want to say that these are like, like a cereal bowl. Uh, I think of like, you know, when you feed, feed your baby, baby cereal, the little baby cereal, and you mix it up in a little bowl. Because this would not be a cereal bowl for me. Maybe it's a fruit bowl. I don't know, but they are Hazel Atlas. You can barely see the label right there. So you do get the set of them. There aren't in, they're not in any, I mean, they're in great condition, no chips or cracks. You get the set of them, both of them for $16 and they are number 38. Also shipping is not included in the price. So shipping is an additional fee. Um, I ship through pirate ship and what I am charged to ship is what I charge you to ship. And 
that is the way that we do it. Sixteen dollars, number thirty-eight. I see Kyle Garvey. Kyle Garvey, you are the winner of the Hazel Atlas Bowls, and I will put your ticket back in the bowl for the prize. All right, next. Hi, Lori. Okay, well, 242 people watching and I'm gonna do an offer up because that's what I picked. Who likes uh, Royal Hager? Raise your hand if you like Royal Hager. I have these beautiful mauve agate Royal Hager candlesticks and I will take the rest of the sticker off the bottom, but here they are. Royal Hager, talk about Hollywood Regency. I mean, this is, this is pretty Hollywood Regency. We were talking a little bit about Hollywood Regency on Jeffrey's channel the other night, but these are beautiful Royal Hager. There is the tag. The tag is actually on both of the candlesticks. The Royal Hager tag. They're in excellent condition. Now, we're going to do these as an offer up, so we're just going to start up right off the bat. So Emma's going to type in start, and she's going to hit the timer to go. I'm going to start these at $15. And whenever Emma types in start, you may begin the offers and I'll talk a little bit more about them as well. But they're beautiful. So you would put a long taper candle in them, but they have blue and pink. This is the Royal Hager mauve agate pattern. They did a whole big series on different vases and vessels in this pattern or the colorway. They're beautiful. Perfect for spring. These would be beautiful on an Easter display or even Valentine's display as well. Uh, the one in your left hand has a chip. No, it does not have a chip. That is the tag that I did not take off. There's a tag on the bottom. So it's not a chip. It's just the paper. No chips. They are in excellent condition. No chips on them at all. That's just the paper that was on the bottom that I need to take off. Where are you seeing, Emma? What's the highest offer? Because Well, we need to know. You can do it. <sighs> okay, stop. Emma's going to refresh and she will let us know. Hi, Will. Will thrifting, thr Will's Thrifting Ventures. ventures. Today's his birthday. He has a great YouTube channel. Make sure that you go subscribe and tell him happy birthday. I see CLC for 32. I see CLC also for $32. She was right above you, um, Shirley, with the stop. But yeah, these are beautiful. So CLC, these are going to you. They're beautiful. I love the way that they feel too. They have a nice texture to them. I am very much a texture person, so I like the way that they feel. All right. All right, next I have a little bluebird of happiness. We love these. Now, coming up in a video, I'm not sure which day Jeffrey will have this video out, but there was a little bit of a war with these. So that's going to be in an upcoming video of Jeffrey's. But this says Leo Ward 1996 on the bottom. Well, gosh, it's your birthday too, Jen. Happy birthday, Jen. It's Bert, Will and Jen, Jen's birthday today. So here we have the Bluebird of Happiness. These are lovely. This one's in excellent condition. There's no flaws on it at all. It is $14 and it is number two. $14, number two for the Leo Ward Bluebird of Happiness paperweight. Um, I see Norma Jacob. I see Norma Jacob as well. Norma Jacob, you got it. Oh, you turned 50, Jen? Are you going to do the, I'm 50. The Sherry, o no, it wasn't Sherry O'Terry. It was, um, Don't ask me how what was her name on Saturday Night Live? I'm 50. I can't wait. I mean, I can't wait. I'm 40, I'm 45. So it's going to be here soon enough. But when that happens, I'm going to do that. I'm going to do that whole skit. Maybe I could reenact that whole skit. Wouldn't that be fun, Emma? Yeah. 
50 is when the warranty expires and stuff starts wearing out. I thought that was 40, Molly Shannon. Because it seems to me after I turned 40 is when like my gallbladder went. I had to get a hysterectomy, no gallbladder. It was all kinds of things like that after I turned 40. All right, next I have things kind of piled up here. But I have this beautiful, I want to say that this is it's just a little covered candy dish. It's this beautiful blue candy dish. It is California pottery. See there on the bottom. I love the little Florida de lis kind of, you know, design it has to it. It's a covered candy dish. Sally O'Malley and I'm 50 and I can kick and punch and kick. Oh, okay. I love it. That's the best skit. All right. Hi, Pamela. Yeah, listen, the 90s Saturday Night Live was the best that was the best decade i think for saturday night live some people may disagree but i think that it was but this beautiful piece of california pottery little candy dish doesn't have any flaws on it it's in excellent condition it is 18 dollars, and it is number 32. 18 dollars, number 32 for the beautiful blue pottery candy dish I see CLC. CLC, you got it. CLC, CLC. Uh, you got the good. You got the good internet today, Connie. <laughs> Sandy, you could be my. Listen, I say that to Jeffrey all the time because I could be his mother. But that's okay. We can still be friends with people no matter what the, the age they are, as long as we're all adults, right? Sandy, you got a young heart. <laughs> All right, here we go. I've been, my caffeine's starting to kick in a little bit. And I had to take in a leave because also when you get to be older, you get some pains in your hands. And that's what I've been dealing with a lot lately. So my leave is starting to kick in, which helps. All right, so next I have this fun little cow planter. Look at his little face. He's got a little hat on. This is an American-made pottery. Not sure. It could be Morton pottery. I don't know if Randy Girl's here. Randy Girl knows her planters. Uh, but this cute little, kind of a haunting cow face a little bit. Yeah, I saw Randy Girl here. I do have my little faux succulent here. So you can get a little bit of a better idea of what he'd look like. I'm just going to kind of shove it in there so you can see what he would look like with a little planter in him. He does have little orphan Annie eyes. Isn't he cute though? Look at his little flower on his tail. So this little nugget is $10 and he is number 49. $10, number 49. He doesn't have any chips or flaws on him. He's just a cute little cow. $10, number 49. Randy girl. I see Randy girl. Carrie, you're gonna turn 41 in about a month. So see, have you noticed that like, you? You move a little slower in the mornings, or... Maybe she doesn't. Maybe it's just you. Maybe it is just me. Things bother you a little bit more. I don't know. You use vintage planters for your art supplies. Oh, that's a great idea, Lynn. I know a lot of people will use them for their makeup brushes or in their bathroom as, like, to put Q-tips and things in. I They're very versatile. You can use them um, for... Uh, you know, pencils at a desk. It's just something fun. It's a whimsical thing. A little whimsical thing. You thought, oh, Will, I know. Doesn't he look so young? I know. I thought so, too. All right. This is something that I just picked up, and it was just in a haul. Well, you know what? No, it was just in my haul from yesterday's video. I'm thinking I just filmed another haul video, but this that one will be tomorrow. This one was in yesterday's haul video. And it's this really pretty Art Deco frame. It's got the blue edging around it. It is glass. I did stick this photo in here. I don't know who these people are. They're just two children on a horse. So in the, I had said something in the video that if you have an antique mall or, or if you're just a reseller in general, sometimes just sticking, you can usually buy a bunch of old photos. If you put a, a cool picture in the frame it'll help upsell the frame a little bit as well but this does have the the back to it i will say that the back is very stretched out the way that you can rem remedy that is if you put 
um, a little piece of paper or fabric right in there and you can glue it to there and it'll this is just how you get the photo in it'll make that a little bit more sturdy but this cute little frame here i love these frames i like the blue there is a little bit of paint it's doing a little bit of a number there but it this blue frame is ten dollars you get the picture and the frame for no, ten dollars number 68. hey sam ten dollars number 68 for the art deco frame with the photo in it i see deanna dill deanna dill is that right okay you kind of looked at me like no you you weren't right i guess i was there's sugar britches emma sugar britches is here hi all right next we have uh-oh I have something that had the stickers taken off. So we'll set that aside and see if it, when we find it again down there. All right, next, who likes cobalt blue glassware? This is an interesting piece. It is shaped as a, oops, turn around this way, violin, fiddle, bass guitar. I don't know. I don't know what to tell the difference between which ones, but it's a really pretty cobalt blue uh, bottle of some sort. I don't know what was originally in this. Um, I just thought that it was a, had a cool shape and cool design to it. Look, these bottles look beautiful in a window with the, with the sunlight coming through them. This bottle is $12 and it's number 37. You can see the bottom here. There's no markings on it, but that number two probably had a cork in it because it doesn't have, you know, any rings around it that a lid would screw on it. But I don't think that it's like terribly, it's vintage, but I don't think that it's like, antique or i know it's not antique all right shirley pearl 37 right how much did you say 12 dollars. it's not written on here no all righty next we have <laughs> this will make you laugh it made me laugh but it's cool let me see if i can find the copyright date before i show it to you um Well, no copyright date, but it is the ball jar, the ball blue book. Say it in that order, not in another order. Yes, I know, Jeffrey. We've already discussed this that we've copied that I've copied off of you. Um, this is the ball blue book. Don't say it at sugar britches. I know it's on the tip of your tongue. But we're going to say it like that. But it's the ball, the ball blue book, like ball jars. I'm mm -hmm. canning, huh? It is, Emma. Canning and preserving recipes. I would say that this is probably 1920s or so. <laughs> sugar britches. All right. So look at the graphic on, graphic on here. And look, she's canning her peaches. There she is. Now, this just has a bunch of recipes that you can use and how to can different items like grapefruit marmalade, strawberry and gooseberry marmalade, canned baked apples. It just, I mean, it's chock full of things that you can can. It also talks about rubbers, you know, that go along the seal of your jar. Um, so there's no copyright date in this, but this is from Muncie, Indiana, which is where I went to college, Ball State University, home of ball jars, but it's very good. It's very, it's very good. It's nicely, it's in a very nice condition. There is a little bit of a mark right there where someone, I think, put a price sticker on it at one time, and some of the corners are a little bit folded in a little bit. It's but it's in still a very nice condition. It is $14 and it's number 58. $14 number 58 for the I got to read it. The Ball Blue book. Not, you know, we're not going to go there again, but um, I see Kathy Morrison. Oh good, Sandy. I'm so glad that I can make you laugh. I try. Today started off a little rough for me, so I'm I'm laughing too. So that's always good. That's always good. I do have a lot more ephemera, so don't you fret. Don't you fret. 
All right, next I have, and I did not know what kind of flower this was or what kind of pattern that it was, but you guys have really, you guys teach, you say that I teach you, you guys teach me so much. So I learned so much from you guys sending me messages or leaving comments on certain things that you see because I have a very short-term memory. Um, I, Emma's over here shaking her head, things enter my brain and then they just leave. So I have a very hard time with patterns and memorizing all those kind of things. I just kind of, when I go out and I'm looking for things, I've just been around this stuff my whole life. So I kind of get a gut feeling and that's what I go for. I do love McCoy pottery. This is McCoy and this is the wisteria. So these are wisteria flowers on there. Aren't they pretty? I kind of thought they were grapes, but they're, it's wisteria. Does a little look a little bit much like grapes, doesn't it? And it looks like grape leaves. I don't know. But I did look this up, and they it is called the wisteria pattern. So this is a, a pedestal planter. It's in beautiful condition. I don't think it was ever used. It doesn't have any water stains on the inside. I love the pitting in this old pottery. That's not any damage. That's just the natural pitting in the pottery. It's beautiful. It's marked McCoy on the bottom. It kind of has that matte McCoy feel. That I Emma, you want to feel this? No. Okay, well, it feels good. Anyway, it is $18, and it's number 19. $18, number 19. Isn't it pretty? I love those soft, muted colors on there. All right, I see Megzy, Megzy Woody. Megzy Woody for number 19. So pretty. I love the feel of Brush McCoy. Gosh, it feels so good. But again, I'm, I like the texture on things. I, I'm just big on that. Make sure that they email you. Oh yes, make sure that you do email me, thrifterjunkervintagehunter at gmail.com. All right, I have another piece of ephemera. This is a little book that is gorgeous. Let me look at the copyright date. See, I can look the copyright date up before here, but I would forget. Okay, this is, this is an antique book. It is copyright 1892. So it's the second edition. The first edition was 1864. This is the second edition, 1892. And it is in excellent condition. Look at this little girl in this book. I love books that have a beautiful cover on it like that. It probably originally had a dust jacket on it. And that's kind of a surprise when you find these antique or vintage books in general that have a neat look to them and you peel off the dust jacket and then you see this beautiful artwork underneath. Look at her with her little bow in her hair. It's so pretty. So this is Captain Prudy's, Captain Horace, no, Little Prudy's Captain Horace by Sophie May. And on the binding there, it has a nice displayability as well because look at her, she's on the bind, on the binding as well. It's in very sound condition. The, the cover is not coming off of it. I love this part on the inside. It says, Merry Xmas, Marguerite Tower from Uncle, I, wait, Uncle Elmer and Aunt Pearl. And it has a little sticker, Good Luck and Merry Christmas. So it has this antique sticker in there and it has this beautiful penmanship writing. So this was a Christmas gift for their niece. It's in excellent condition. Such good condition. Mm -hmm. huh? Do people have been asking how this works? So can you re-explain? Uh, yeah, I'll re-explain. So the way that this works is I'm holding up this item and this will have a number. So every item will have a number on it. Okay. So I'm explaining the item and I will say the number, the first person to type in that number in the feed. So you just type it in. You don't have to put the, do the dollar sign, just the number, because I'm just going to give you the number. So just the number is okay. Um, and the first person that shows up on our end after we've refreshed will be the person that gets to purchase the item. And you just have to send me an email, thrifterjunkervintagehunter at gmail.com with your actual name, your YouTube name, your full shipping address, and your PayPal email. And then I will be working on invoices the next two days. Everything will be invoiced by Friday at the latest. Hoping to get them all done tomorrow, but I'm allowing myself a little bit of grace because I'm not going shopping this week. So I, I'm giving myself two days to get the shipping done. But Captain, no, 
Little Prudy's Captain Horace. All of the pictures on the inside are in black and white. There are no color illustrations, but they're all like that. But it's in very good condition. This book is $18, and it's number 47. $18, number 47 for this beautiful antique book. And it's the copyright date is 8, well, we'll see, I already forgot, 1896? 1892. I already forgot, 1892. Shirley Pearl. Shirley Pearl. Ooh, I am way behind, behind on the chat. There we go. Yes, I do combine shipping, Katie. And if you purchased something from me yesterday uh, during the four-way sale, I will combine all that shipping as well. So, yes. You don't need to email me if you already yeah, and you don't have to email me again. If you bought something from me, um, you don't. I mean, it's nice if you do email me, but you don't have to. If I can't find you, I will try to hunt you down. No, I'm just kidding. But I do need all your information to be able to get you your items. All right. Next, we have... Oh, I love these. I picked these up at an antique mall. Um, I know that you, a lot of people like the Goodwill videos and stuff. I hate filming in Goodwill, so I don't film a lot in Goodwill. I pretty much film in flea markets and antique malls, and you can find things for resale in an antique mall, especially if the antique mall is running a sale. I picked these antique toys up, or vintage toys up, at a, oh wait, Nancy, dust jackets started about 1820, but were plain and simple until the 1910s. Lithographs changed them to what we know now. Let me tell you, Nancy, this overstuffed house, she knows so much about ephemera. So go over and subscribe to her channel. Um, she does a lot of, she does live sales as well and she knows a lot about ephemera. I can always count on her because I don't. I just know that, oh, this is pretty. Oh, I like that. But Nancy like really studies this stuff. She really, really knows it. So props to you, Nancy. She she knows a lot. She knows her stuff. These little vintage plastic elephants. Um, they were originally ornaments. So their hooks are missing. Like this one's halfway there and this one's completely gone. But so cute. Look at them. One is blue, because it's blue week. And then he's got his little buddy, who is like a pearlescent white. Cute, cute, cute little toys. You get both of them for $14 for the pair of them. And they are number 46. $14 for the pair of elephants. Look at how their paint is still so well done. The only thing is that their little hooks where they would hang are missing but you can just sit them on a shelf they sit so nice on a shelf all right i see shirley pearl oh shirley pearl sure i should have worn my shirley shirt shirley shirt shirley pearl's on it today okay i did not go to starbucks today we're gonna take a little sippy drink sippy break i went to mcdonald's and got a caramel macchiato at 10 30 this morning Wanted a breakfast sandwich, but they don't serve breakfast after 10.30. So I'm a little bitter about you, McDonald's, because I forwent Starbucks so I could get a McDonald's breakfast sandwich, and I couldn't get one. And I said, I would not like any food. Just give me my caramel macchiato. Anyway, next we have a blown glass penguin. Really pretty piece of art glass. Now, the Pontel Mark is sanded down flat. But isn't he pretty with his little swirls on the inside? And he's a penguin. He's not just your regular old bluebird. He's a penguin of happiness. Penguin of happiness. I know, Amy. I thought that they would at least serve breakfast until 11 o'clock, too. Oh, no. Not this big. Uh, not this big lots. Not this McDonald's. Which brings me to another off-topic point. We just got done watching the McMillions on HBO Max. That's a, that's a, you guys need to watch that. If you're able to watch it, actually HBO Max has a 14-day trial right now. You just have to sign up for it and then set the thing on your phone to cancel it after 14 days. But you can like watch a lot of stuff. McMillions is crazy. I mean, McDonald's had nothing to do with the scandal. It was the mob basically. But anyway, that's a good show. Anyway, let's get back to the penguin. So the penguin is a beautiful gl blown glass penguin 
with a sanded down pontel mark. He is $16 and he is number 41. Sue is, yeah, Sue, honey, refresh. You're behind. Hi, Alex. Alex, look, I got your shirt on. Chapter I 2 Vintage Shirley Co. Pearl Shirley Pearl. Shirley Pearl. Is it on Netflix, Will? Well, it's crazy. It, it's a it's several episodes of it. I think there, there's six episodes of it. It's crazy. It's so good though. And also the founder is a really good. I Jeffrey watched it too. I told him about it and he liked it. Um, it's about like the story of like the guy that franchised all the McDonald's. It's really good. It has Oh, did you watch it? That's another thing, but um, it has Michael Keaton in it. It's very good. So, yes, Thrift You, yes. And also, Class... Sam, you need to watch Class Action Park. Has anybody been to Action Park in New Jersey back in the 80s? It's crazy. Uh, it's craziness. It was pretty good, too. Anyway. Let, anyway, let me know if you went to Action Park in the 80s if you were in the New Jersey area. Crazy. Crazy. Okay, McDonald's movie. Lynn went to it. Oh, man, there's some crazy stuff that happened at that class action park. <laughs> We're lucky to be alive. Oh, okay. The purse with the doll. We're just getting off topic today. Welcome to my life. Emma's over here laughing because this is me. I don't. This is normal. This is normal. See? But you know what? Why be normal? This was sent to me by my pal, Karen Dondelinger. She bought me this purse with a baby head on it. And Sarah wants it. Isn't this great? I love it. It's art. That's why I have it hung up here because this is art. And her eyes open and close. That's the fun part about it. And Sugar Britches painted me that picture of Brutus. You can't see it. Oh. It's fine. Sugar Britches painted me this picture of Brutus. He's in doggy heaven now. Or, uh, or the other place. I don't know. We'll see. But anyway, here we go. Next item are these Bone China cats. They are white, but they got blue eyes. So they fit. And it's blue and white, right? So this is the mama cat. And when my cat had kittens... And did this to her kittens, I about freaked out. That's the weirdest thing ever when you see a cat pick up their baby by the neck. Sam, next time that Lulu acts up, I want you to bite her by the neck and carry her around. Teach her a lesson. But so you get the mom, these little babies. Look at that baby. They're so little. And then this little baby. They're all in excellent condition. Aren't they cute? Lena, all dogs go to heaven. Well, this one was special. He was special. Oh, gosh, Sarah. I, I can only imagine because, you know, I, I, I'm about there now. All right, so these little babies here are $16. You get all three of them for $16, and they're number 42. They're like little Persian cats. Look at their little eyes. I always look at their faces. And that cat's like, oh, man. How I, much did you $16, number 42. I see Myrna Spratt. Oh, that's coming up soon. That's going to be for sale today. That beautiful vase behind me. As soon as I pick it out of my champagne bucket. Are y'all cut up there, Emma? Yeah, you don't. Your lists are always messed uh, up. Well, you know. All right. Next, I have this really pretty bath, full, um, it's bath powder. It is a, a vintage tin with this fancy lady on it. And it says it is Norita Fleur Savage Wildflower Bath Powder. Patented in August, August 5th, 1924 from Norita Perfumery in New York. Fancy. Fancy, fancy. It does open. Now, the sides of it have this beautiful 
kind of Art Nouveau, Art Deco lines to it. Kind of, kind of a combination of both. So you could display it. The, the displayability is really pretty just on its side there. Or, and or, you've got the, the top of it here. Now there is some wear to the top of it. But it's all in all in pretty good condition. It is $10 and it is number 43. $10, number 43, for the 1924 Bath 10. Um, I see Kate Wildman, I think. Yeah, Kate Wildman. For number you 40. You said name right this time. You know, sometimes I get names right. Sometimes I do. Not a lot. Not, not all the time, but sometimes I do. Oh, Alex. Alex loves her 10s, too. I'm digging down deep into the champagne bucket. All right, anybody like Niagara Falls or have been to Niagara Falls or like Niagara Falls in general? I know D, Thrill of the Thrift, lives in Niagara Falls, New York. Well, this is Niagara Falls, Canada. It's a souvenir of Niagara Falls, Canada. This one is an older one. It's Mason's, England. It's an older souvenir plate. You can kind of see the crazing on it a little bit. It's very, it's not flow blue, but it's very, very reminiscent of that. But look right here. You can see the little ship right there. Isn't this pretty? I I like unique souvenir plates. I, I really like the ones with um, just like the kitschy ones. But this one's just like an elegant souvenir of Niagara Falls, Canada. And it says Ontario down there. New Brunswick and Quebec. And then it just says Canada right there. Isn't this pretty? It's in excellent condition. There's no chips or cracks or flaws on it. It is $16 and it's number nine. The little ship is the maid of the midst. It might be. It kind of looks like a steamer ship. And then that kind of looks like a castle up there. Isn't it pretty how like the the... The powerfulness of the falls can still be depicted in this plate. <coughs> okay. I'm making sure. I see Katie Gooddale. Katie, do you live near the falls? Sometimes people like to buy things like that. Like maybe they've taken their honeymoon there. It, it doesn't have to be just because that's where you live. It could just be somewhere that's, you know means something to you. Made of the Mist is one of the earliest attractions. I didn't know that. Now it just looks like a steamer ship. Well, there you go. Thank you, Vanil Vernilla. Vanilla Lux. I called you Vernilla. Look at me. Add an R to your country name. Girl. I'm a country girl. Vernell. Hi, Susan. Oh. Oh, good. Well, I hope your dad's doing better. Vanilla is fine. Not Vernella, though. We're not going to add an R to it. Hi, Kelly girl. All right, I have this vintage puzzle. I like these. Now, this one's like a transportation theme, and it is a vintage play school. I'm going to try to hold it up and not uh, spill it out everywhere. But isn't this pretty, this color on it? See? There I go. Well, it's all the pieces are there. <laughs> Emma said, well, boy. All the pieces are here. These puzzles are not easy to figure out how they go back together either. Well, they're made for toddlers. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's that not going to Oh, there's the other piece. Okay, so here we go. Now, this little piece right here on this airplane has a little piece of the wood that's missing. So, there's that. That's the only thing that's wrong with it. Um, it, it even, I bet you that this puzzle, like this little piece is probably missing in a lot of these puzzles, but it's included in this one, but it is play school. There's, I want to say that this one was from the 1960s. Look at the cars down here. See down there, you can tell. So this puzzle is $8 and it's number 65. $8, number 65 for the Vintage Play School Puzzle. 
Vanilla was an ingredient of the cocoa I was drinking when choosing mine. Oh, that's just, I love those stories like that. All right, I see Megzy Woodsy. Oh, is Sarah on? Hi, Sarah. Sarah, I haven't had my medicine in a week. How are you doing? <laughs> my focus medicine. Okay. Next. Okay. I have an offer up. Kelly, are you, Kelly, do you have your, are you fully, do you have your pants pulled up? <laughs> I don't know why I'm asking that. Because Kelly likes ephemera and she, she didn't get the piece that she wanted yesterday. Because I haven't went and picked it up. It's waiting on me and I drive by the Walgreens every day, but I'm just like, yeah, I'll get it later. All right, so I have this piece of ephemera here. This is an offer up. Oh my gosh, it's so good. Now, I tend to gravitate towards, I like figurines of little boys, and I don't know, because you, the little girls, you see them all the time. This one, I just love the faces on this. Now, the art, well, let me just show it to you first. It is a vintage calendar. Look at the faces on the little boy. They are up to shenanigans. They have been caught and they're trying to sneak up those stairs. This is from 1941. It's Lake Shore Fuel Company. Erie Rich was the manager. Uh, 100 West Main Street, Fredona, New York. Telephone 644. Blue Coal. Uh, from your blue coal dealer. Here's their little symbol down there. America's finest anthracite. An anthracite. I know that you guys don't know what this is. Nancy's probably like going, mistake. That's what it says. But this is tied, this litho that's on this is titled So Far, So Good. And it was illustrated by Russell Sandbrook. Russell Sandbrook is the artist on this litho. Isn't it beautiful? It's on cardboard. It's in excellent condition. The All of the calendar uh, pages are there. It starts with January. There is a little spot where it's came off of the staple, just the cover part that says Season's Greetings. So we're going to do this as an offer up. I'm going to start it at $15. It is, okay, so I know, look at that carpet runner. Look at the faces. Ah, he's in trouble, that chubby little hand. All right, so whenever t Emma types in start, we'll go ahead and start. We're starting at $15. It is Russell Sainbrook is the artist. Look at his little foot. Oh, I love it. These look beautiful framed. They're gorgeous, but I love his face. Now, doesn't he remind you of some little boy that you know or you have known that is just mischievous and is sneaking up the stairs? I wonder what he just did. He probably, like, stole, like, broke some one of his sister's toys or something. Can you imagine? Oh, my gosh. Look at his little haircut. This artist is, it, it kind of very much resembles, like, a Norman Rockwell art i think to me that dog's not supposed to go upstairs oh auntie sash that's a good maybe because even the dog's like ah he's just taking me he is sneaking the dog to his room Jean norman, the top okay so gene norman is the top bidder oh okay I think that's emma's gonna refresh okay. sam i'm getting off so i can focus give me anything you think i might want I know I love this. It's so good. Yeah. And underneath it, it, it has where you can add telephone numbers too. I guess I probably should have shown that. So Gene Norman. Norman for what? 30. For $30. No, the doll head purse is not for sale. It was a gift. It was a gift. Um, the the person that makes these are they are they do have an eBay store. 
And Karen sent me the link to her eBay store. So I'll try to remember. If you send me an email and you want to know the link, send me an email and I'll, I'll pull that up and I'll send it back to you. Because she had an eBay. She sells them on eBay or Etsy. I can't remember which one. Hi, Carrie. Okay, here we go. Oh, let me put this back in my bowl. All right, next I've got this cute little Pyrex Fridgy. It does not have the lid. Tell me what this pattern is. I know that you guys know what this pattern is. But it's in excellent condition. Doesn't have the lid, but still a cute little... Hi, Maria. Cute little Fridgy. What is this pattern, guys? Somebody type it in. I know that you know this. Butter print. That's it. Amish butter print. But look at that blue collar. Those are corns, right? And a rooster. Those are corns. Those are corns. This is $14, and it's number 20. Hi, Donatella. Donatella has a fun name. Donatella Botil Botilina. Donatella. It's number 20, and it's $14. Hi, Michael. Michael's at work. Shirley Pearl. <laughs> Michael. I gotta put, I'm putting that little, the little frozen Charlotte girl in the number bowl so I don't forget to give her away. Michael's at work. Boo. Okay. Next, I have a really kind of mid century looking cream and sugar bowl. Look at the lid on that bowl. It's very atomic, isn't it? So it's the creamer and the lidded sugar bowl. There are no maker's mark on this. I don't know who made it. Neither one of them have any marks on them. But I thought they were fun. Aren't they cool? It's a cool shape. I'm lagging. Kelly, refresh. Well, go on your phone because it seems to be better. For me, at least, when I watch sales on my phone, it seems to be faster. Bye, Michael. But these, <coughs> excuse me, are in excellent condition. Really fun for a coffee bar. You get the set of them for $18, and they're number 35. Number 35 for the set of the blue creamer and lidded sugar bowl. You have it in avocado green. Oh, that's fun. I see Diane McIntosh. Diane, hi, Mountain View Vintage. They are really cute. I have another sugar bowl, but I don't have the creamer. You're on your phone, and I keep refreshing. Um, I got a lot of ephemera, Kelly. I also have these pig shakers. They're made in Japan. Actually, you know what? These are not shakers. These are not salt and pepper shakers. They're just they're just figurines. Look at that. Now they have a little. You're, they have a little bit of blue spots on their heads. They're not salt and pepper shakers. They're just made in Japan. Just two little piggy figurines. They're very highly glossed or highly glazed. So they have a fun feel to them. They've got little blue tails on the back. Aren't they cute? Hi, Debbie. And look, you can put them on your fingers. Have a puppet show. Kind of. In a way. But they are $16 for the set. So you get both of them for $16. And they're number 12. For the little pig... They're not salt and pepper shakers. They are just um, little figurines. They are $16, number 12. Finger puppets. That's right. $16, number 12. Oh, and they're stuck on my fingers. Um, Marsha, refresh. Refresh, Marsha. All right, next. Hi, Addie. Next, I have a Better Homes and Gardens magazine. It's ephemera, Kelly. It's ephemera. From August 1932. So this is from August, but it's blue. And it's got these beautiful sunflowers on it. 
The artist on this is Martin Kaiser. Martin Kaiser. 1932 Better Homes and Gardens. Now, the, the tip of it has, well, it kind of looks like it's been chewed. You can see it a little bit better on that side. But the inside has, well, it's Better Homes and Gardens. So it's things that you can, yeah, I see you, Marsha. You are behind. Refresh. You see a lot of things like now, most people do a lot of talking about the weather, but whatever is done, but nothing is done about it. So it's talking about like having better energy for your home in 1932. Uh, there's some ads in here from Crisco, City in the Forest, Carmel, California homes are hidden like teepees in the woods, says this article. So it's just a fun vintage ephemera. Heinz ketchup. You know, the Heinz bottle, that's a classic form there. That, they're still that shaped when you see them in restaurants. Um, lots of advertisements, which I kind of like. Okay, I see someone for number 12. I see Mike. Hi, Mike. Mike Parson. Gotcha. Gotcha, Mike, for the pig shakers for number 12. The back is pigs in a blanket. By unanimous vote, 807 husbands elected this their favorite snack, say their wives. Don't those look yummy? Pigs in a blanket. Gold medal flower. So this book or magazine is $12 and it's number 54. $12, number 54. No man can resist pigs in blankets. Women can, but not a man. A man cannot resist. All right, I see tiger purple. Tiger purple. And now I, I, again, I say this a lot, but I do have a lot of these magazines and I will be, I'll be adding them to my cells each week. All right, I have, this one, this isn't vintage, but it's something that I have had and it's blue, and I thought I would throw it into this sale. But it is this Ray Dunn mug, and it just says taste. And I only have the one. It's Ray Dunn by Magenta. It's in excellent condition, no chips or cracks. It's $12, and it's number 40. $12, number 40. It would look pretty with a flower in it. Yeah. $12, number 40 for the Ray Dunn Taste Mug. All right, I see the Aging Beginner. Hi, Michelle Peterson. Hi, Joanne. Hi, Irene. Okay. There's 427 people watching. We're at 201 thumbs up. So I just pulled... I just pulled the card for the fairy lamp. But, you know, I, I like my thumbs up, so I'm going to wait till we get to 250 thumbs ups. 300. Huh? I say 300. Oh, I'm just going to say 250. I'll be happy with 250. Okay. And then we will do this fairy lamp. So, if you've not hit the thumbs up and you want this beautiful fairy lamp, then hit that thumbs up. Hit the thumbs ups. I'm going to pull the next. Th oh, we're close. But I'll set it aside. But this is the fairy lamp that it will be in today's sale. This beautiful blue. I'll set that right there. We're almost there. We're at 230. 230. We need 250. I'm going to do the next thing and maybe we'll be there. Now this is just as lovely, I think. It's this beautiful teal mug. This is a stackable mug. I only have one. But you can put a plant in it if you want. Isn't that pretty? I love this color and these swirls. I don't know who made it. It is cold painted on, you know, so it's a white mug with the teal paint on the outside. It is $9 and it's number 16. Well, we're at 245. We only need, oh, 247. $9, number 16 for the teal coffee mug. We're almost there. All right, I see Claudia. Hilton. Hilton. Did I say that right? 
I think so. Or Hilton. Or Hilton. It's Claudia. Claudia gets the, the teal mug. All right. We're at 254. So we're going to do the blue fairy lamp. Now, I don't know who made this, but it's gorgeous. And it's round. And it is blue glass. So it's not, it's not flashed painted. It's blue glass. And I do have these little fairy lights in here just to show you a little bit, gives you a little bit of a taste of what it will look like with, you know, illuminated. But it is in excellent condition. There are no chips or cracks or flaws on it anywhere. It is not marked. Isn't it beautiful? So pretty for winter, like on a winter night. Okay, so we're going to start this at $10 for one minute. And in, Now listen, if you were interested in this, and I'm starting it at $10, but if you're serious, then just put, put your serious bid in. Because we only got a minute. So are you ready? So whenever Emma hits start, we okay, are, so. all right, I'm seeing, right now I'm seeing 30 as the highest offer. It's in beautiful, it's in excellent condition. You can put a, you can put an actual candle in here. You can put some fairy lights in here like I did, and you can get these in bulk on Amazon for like 10 to $12. Uh, oh gosh, I'm seeing 37. No, I see oh, 40. 40. I see Jacqueline Vaccaro at 40. 45 tinkle, pink gold tink. Yeah, it's really pretty. Kyle I Garvey love 55. the blue. I don't see that. I've not seen this one out in the wild. Kyle Garvey's at 55. Kyle Garvey is at 55. Randy's at 56. Randy's at 56. Emma says there's 30 seconds left, but I think that's a little delayed. It's in beautiful condition. It is beautiful. Jacqueline's at 60. At 60. It's so pretty. Randy's at 61. Randy is at 61. Okay, stop. Emma's going to refresh. Next week, I'm doing a pink depression glass one. Well, it's not depression glass, but it's pink. It looks like depression glass. See? I see Jacqueline. No, I see Jacqueline at 64. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Jacqueline Vaccaro. Jacqueline Vaccaro at $64. That's who I see before the stop. Yeah, I know it's so pretty. And this is one that just feels good in your hands too. Yeah, Indiana glass, it might be Indiana glass. I did buy, I want to say three of them over the weekend. I mean, different kinds. And I did buy a Fenton one that was in yesterday's video that is, it's honestly the, the prettiest one I've ever seen. It is so pretty. Homeco make, they do make them. The Homeco I know makes the clear ones. But I, I'm really bad at saying, oh, I'm going to look, I'm going to research that a little bit more. And then my sale's here and I didn't do it. So that's what happens sometimes. It is so pretty. That's the only fairy lamp I have today. Yeah, that's the only one I have today. I do one every week. Every Wednesday. So thank you, Jacqueline. All right. Well, Emma, we're gonna do another. We're gonna do another offer up. <laughs> That's just what I've drawn. Now I have this winter scene paint by number. Look at this barn. Now this is somewhere mountainous. It's somewhere mountainous. You know, but it's not Indiana. Well, I guess it could be if it was in like a lower valley. Now this is in the frame, but it isn't the original frame. I will take this out of the frame. This is just kind of in a cheapo Walmart frame. So if you if you win this and you want it and you want me to and you want to save a little bit on shipping, I can send it out of the frame. Because the frame isn't that great. But here is, I'm going to take it out of the frame just so you can see it without the glare. But this was painted by Teresa Gale Byers. Now I did buy this at a yard sale over the summer and I bought it from this lady that painted it in the 60s. Um, there's her initials on the front, TCB. But isn't this pretty? Now it is, oh, TGB. It does have like a little bit of wear right there. 
and it's a little bumpy. It's like over the years, it's just probably been kept not in the best place for these. It is on canvas. So there, there is, it's not, it's not perfect. I guess you can see it's a little bumpy and wavy. Now I can send it to you in the street. See, like the frame is just, it's just a Walmart frame. So I can send it to you in that frame if you want it or I can send it to you out of the frame and save you on shipping. I will pack it well, so don't you don't have to worry about that. But we're gonna start this at $10. So whenever you're ready, Emma's gonna type in start. It's a beautiful winter theme. You can see the snow on the tree. I like the size of this. I think it would be nice added to, if you have a big gallery wall of paint by numbers, to kind of have this added in or to just keep out with your winter theme decor. Could you imagine, oh my gosh, if you have a fairy lamp, let me grab it here and hold it up so you can still see it. And this was leaning, oh, pretty, pretty, pretty. 30 seconds left, I'm seeing Larry Riley at $20. It's on the original canvas board. It was painted by Teresa Gale Byers. I did buy it from Teresa at her yard sale, and she was shocked. She was like, you really want that? And I was like, yeah, I really do. She didn't think anybody would want her thing that she painted when she was a teenager, but I, it's, you know, these things are big right now. Okay, Emma's gonna refresh. I'm seeing Larry at 26. Is that what you have too? All right, Larry Riley. $26. So e when you email me, let me know. I will send it in this frame if you want me to, or I'll, I'll send it out of the frame to save you a little bit on shipping. So just when you send me your email with your information, just let me know. And we'll go from there. All right. Thank you. Thank you. It's a really nice one. Yeah. And she was like, you really want to buy that? I do. I want to buy that. Could you imagine if someone came to your yard sale and wanted to buy your art project when you were a teenager? <clears throat> okay, next I have, this is really pretty, this opalescent daisy. See the daisies in there? It's a footed pedestal bowl. It's in excellent condition. There's no chips or cracks on it at all. This beautiful opalescent here. Kind of looks like it has like these little Celtic knots in it a little bit. But it also has the daisies along the rim, which is really pretty. Oh yeah, you found them at the bins. Michelle Comfy Cozy Living, she found a bunch of them at the bins too. Ooh. Um, I will ship to Ireland. You know, it's gonna take a little bit of time and it's gonna be a little expensive, but yes, um, I, I will ship. I know, Anthony's pretty. It does not glow. It does not glow. So this opal glass bowl is $20 and it's number 45. $20 number 45 all right i see moss stone story. i see kelly moss stone story you're gonna go up to northern michigan so lucky i'm gonna pack myself with it kelly and i'm gonna go up to northern michigan i had seen someone had asked about my shirt addy this is chapter two vintage co's merch see chapter oh Chapter 2 Vintage Co. It's got a, oh gosh, there's that animal. Cheetah? That's a cheetah, right? That's a cheetah. But yeah, you can get that um, on her, go to her YouTube channel and you can buy it on her merch tab. All right. I'm going to pick the next one. Next one. The ba oh, baby powder tin. Well, I love this old advertisement things. I love to put this stuff in the bathroom, but look at that baby. Look at her. She's an old lady now, I bet, but medicated baby silicare powder to prevent and speed of healing and healing of diaper rash, prickly heat, and chafing. And look, it's made by Revlon. And it it's on both sides. And then on this side, it talks about how to use it regularly to protect baby skin. Revlon Pharmaceutical Division, made in the USA, New York. Now, it does still have the powder in it. So there is that. And 
I will make sure that it is wrapped very protectively so it doesn't spill out everywhere. Now, I would not use the powder that's in here. This is just simply for display. It is $14, and it's number 25. Oops. $14, number 25. I remember we used to use this little baby powder on Emma's little tushy when she was a baby. It was that pink Caldison lotion or powder. And you could put your put that powder on your hand and put your hand underneath the water and the, the water wouldn't penetrate it. So she had a little tushy problem when she was little. Especially when she Thank was you for when me. she was teething. Um who do we have? I see bl the blah 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 blah. Brooke. Yep. Brooke. Try again. Brooke Clarity for number 25. It's so cute. I love, love the uh this vintage uh advertisement things and tins okay oh is sam still watching or who i got lots of elephant people that like the elephants here we have an elephant planter that is made by trimont wear i have not seen that trimont wear trimont wear but it's an elephant planter, and I stuck my little helper in there. He is an elephant with its trunk up. We're going to take out his plant. Sarah, so, I, had to do I had to do homeschooling stuff. Huh? She had to leave to do homeschooling. Stuff. Sam did. Sam, that's what I meant. Oh, homeschooling. Yeah, Emma always rolls her eyes. Yep. All right, so on the inside here, there is a little bit of a chip on the inside you can't really see it from the outside, but it is there on the inside. This has been used. It still has a little bit of the soil in it. And this is where they've painted his lip orange. So that's cold paint on there. So he is a fine elephant. He's made in Japan. He is $16 and he is number three. $16 number three for the elephant planter. I see Kyle Garvey. I can't see all the chat. I know I love elephant planters. Yeah, Jeffrey, he does. When I allow, when we're together and I allow him to find the planters, then he does. No, but no, he does. He, I think he picked up a couple elephant planters when he was here in Indiana. He saw a lot of things before I did. It really made me mad. So that's just the way it goes sometimes. Okay, is this, Emma, this was a random thing. Is this, this? Mm -hmm. Okay. All right, next I have, I love this. And it is a salvaged, which means it was, it used to be in a home or a business and it was taken out. You can see some of the old grout and stuff, but it's this beautiful vintage tile. Isn't this beautiful? And it has, it's blue and black, and it's very, very Art Deco, Art Nouveau. Isn't this pretty? Look at those lines, some more Art Deco lines up there. I love it. Now, there are a few little nicks on the side here, probably where they were taking it out, and I'm so glad that they did. Because a lot of times these beautiful tiles would just be, you know, they'd just be busted out and they just discarded. This is still pretty intact, I have to say. Um, so if you wanted to do a backsplash or something above your sink or your stove, you could add this at an angle and add tile around it if you wanted to use it again. Or you can just use it in a display. I think that it's lovely. It is $16 and it's number 52. There sometimes, and you can kind of see where it was made. I mean, sometimes you can. I don't think I could find it, but there's like L C R A Cravenden something. Yeah, isn't this great? I do have another one that's kind of in fall color, so I, I'm going to hold on to that one until fall. Yes, I have lots more ephemera coming up. I see Nettie, her number 52. Nettie, you got number 52. 
Yeah, make sure you send me an email. Thrifter Junker, Vintage Hunter at gmail.com. With all your information. Okay, I have this piece of pebble art here. Now, in the frame, it is in its original frame, but it's not staying in there very well. So you can let me know if you want to buy this um, and you don't want me to send it in the frame. The frame is plastic, but it, it's probably going to be a little bit harder to find a frame for this. So if you have a way that you could maybe get this back in there, see so if you have it in the frame, that's good too, but it just comes out of the frame. But it is this dog pebble art. This one is so fun. It's got a blue background, this pink ribbon. It's got sequins for the eyes and for the nose. Oh, it's on kind of a particle board. So if you want the frame, I will send it with you. You could honestly just put a hanger on the back and just, you know, hang it up just like that if you didn't want the frame. But this dog pebble art is $16 and it's number 13. $16. Is that a poodle? Brandy girl, is that a poodle? Look at the little floofy tail. I'm just now seeing that. That's a poodle. That is a poodle. I'm just now noticing that. I probably would have priced it a little bit higher if, it, if I knew it was a poodle. But I see Marty Herford. Yep, I think that is a poodle. Poodle schnoodle. A brown one. Normally, you when you see poodle things are white or black. I don't see very very many brown ones. Poodle schnoodle. Yeah, the pebble art. Have you a lot? I bought my mom one of the diamond art things. I've always wanted to try that, but I know I will never get around to it. But um, I got one for my mom for Christmas. I don't think she's tried it yet. But I think that's kind of like the modern. Okay, you will take the frame. Okay, will you write that down? Okay, gotcha. The frame doesn't weigh very much. It's very lightweight, so it won't it won't make that big of a deal. But I just someone didn't want it. Hi, Colleen. All right, I have this beautiful rose plate that has a little bit of a smudge on it. Let me wipe that off. It's a little bit of a smudge. But isn't this lovely? This is restaurant wear. It's made by Mayor China from Beaver Falls, Pennsylvania. There's the back. And it is restaurant wear, so it's nice and thick. And it has this beautiful pale blue. The, the camera isn't picking it up, but it's like a light pale blue with this beautiful rose. Wouldn't this be pretty in Valentine's Day decor with a rose on it? I like it. This plate is $14 and it's number 31. You need patience for diamond painting. I've heard, which I don't have a lot of. I get very frustrated. All right, I see Janice Mine Art. Yeah, I think, I think this is lovely. I really like that. My chat is really slow. Hmm? My chat is really slow. Uh-oh. Emma said her chat is very slow. Yeah, Angela. Angela has a whole album of her diamond painting pieces that she's done. But I see Angela as having a lot of patience. Angela, do you have a lot of patience? I love jigsaw puzzles too, but I have not done a jigsaw puzzle in probably two years. We used to do several every winter. We would have our um, card table set up in the living room and we'd work on it all the time. And my husband would be gone all day at work and he'd come home and I'd be working on this puzzle all day. He would literally walk by, pick up a piece and like find the spot where it goes. And it would make me so mad. The Niagara Falls plate is perfect. I live one hour away from the falls in Ontario. Oh, I see, I've never been to Niagara Falls. I need to go up and visit D. Oh my gosh, a 3,000 piece Where's Waldo puzzle. Oh, that'd be kind of fun though, but kind of frustrating. Oh, I love it. All right, and I don't know much about this. This was another one of those things I thought, oh, I'll research that a little bit, and I didn't. So we're gonna do it as an offer up, because I'm not quite sure. But this is a, I don't know if it's, I said it was German, but I, I don't know. It's Nuremberg. Where is that? Is that Germany? Austria, maybe? 
but it has all of these little plates or these little like indentations you can kind of see see how it's kind of raised there but it says bamberg goose and weissen nuremberg nuremberg bay ruth and bay reicher wald and oh i thought it said gryffindor but it doesn't it says grafenvor which was close it says it's made in Western Germany. And it has this little mark. Well, it's it's stamped Western Germany. And then it has this little mark right there. And it has the hanger so you can hang it up. It's in excellent condition. And it, it's dark blue, these really pretty flowers, and this raised scroll work. So it's very nice. I'm going to start it at $10. Bavaria. Bavaria. Germany. Gryffindor. I know it was close, right? All right. So Emma, whenever you're ready, you can type in start. But it's very pretty. Now this is coming on up black, but it's a very dark navy blue. And these are transfers that are on there. I don't know who that lady is. And there's Gryffindor, which isn't Gryffindor, but it looks like that's what it says. There's a little bird in the tree in that village. Yeah, it's, I, I don't know much about it, but it's made in Western Germany. And it's like a clay, a clay plate. So it's not ceramic or porcelain. It's more of a clay. Right now I'm seeing Tina B at $12. Just didn't know. So I thought I would try it as an offer up just to see. These are transfers on there. And these are kind of like a, um, a Majolica look to it. Cheryl wants it. She's at $20. It's very pretty. Okay. Cheryl got it for 20. Okay. Cheryl, you got it at $20. A lot of times Bavaria is Limoges. I thought Limoges was France. I see. I don't know a lot about the fancy things. Clay is ceramic. Yeah, I guess I'm thinking more porcelain. Porcelain is the bright white. All right. Gotcha, Cheryl, for $20. It's lovely. And it it, it sits a little raised. Like if you wanted to sit, I don't know. I don't know why you would, but it has a wall hanger so you can hang it on the wall. Limoges is France. Yeah. Okay, I have the teal vase. Now, I will include the flowers with it if you would like. I have several of these flowers. So if you want the flowers in this beautiful vase, I will. they are included if you want them. If you don't, then I'll just use them in something else. So you can, you can let me know. So, but I'm going to take the flowers out just so you can get a little bit better uh, picture of the vase. But you see how it's, it's like of a matte pottery. And I don't know who it is marked USA on the bottom. To me, it's feeling very much like a brush McCoy, but don't quote me on that. I do not know. This is Alice. That's right. I named her Alice because I wanted to keep her, but I do not need her. But isn't she pretty? She's that color that just sucks me in, that teal, kind of a seafoamish teal green. She's in excellent condition. I do need to clean Alice up a little bit. Alice is a little bit of a dirty girl right now. She needs to be cleaned. But it's she does. More, it's more green than blue. Right? It is more. It's more green than blue. It's like a teal, which is in the blue family. Else. Um, It does have crazing here on this side. Now, this is dirt. I will clean that off. It's just a little bit of something. But th this is crazing down here on that side. This side does not have the crazing, but it doesn't have any chips or cracks or damage on it. These are glazing flaws. The bubbles that are in the glaze, the glaze is inside here as well, but she's pretty. So you stick some flowers in here. I could you imagine some pink roses and stuff in here for Valentine's Day? That's very pretty. This is $25 and I will, I will include the flowers if you want them. Cottage core or shabby chic, definitely. It's $25 and it's number 22 for Alice the Vase. 
She's pretty. Look at her lines. It's a great price. All right, I see the Vintage Scavenger. Oh, Vintique. Vintique. The Vintique Scavenger. Ooh, she, Alice, you were a popular girl. She's lovely. I, I almost didn't sell her. So when you send me an email with your information, let me know if you want the flowers or not. Because, I mean, it won't add a lot to the shipping, but it might add a little bit to the shipping. Ooh, Alice, you are a popular girl. I'll move you over there, Alice. Okay, this little trinket dish is just sweet. It's just a, it's just a sweet little thing. Oh, well, congratulations, the Ventique Scavenger. Um, this is just a little, this is a little personal ashtray. And you can tell because it has these little grooves in it that you could rest your cigarette. And it probably came in a set of four, probably. But it is Viking imported from Japan. So it has the original foil sticker on the bottom. And it, to me, it, it, it's, it's ceramic, but it kind of looks like a cloisonne. It's not, but it has that, it has that look to it. So this would be great for a ring little ring holder. You can take your rings off at, at night and put them in there or at the sink. It's $8 and it's number 51 for the Viking little ashtray trinket. $8, number 51. Oh, Angela, you're okay. I see Tina Hendricks. I didn't see all that comment, but Angela, 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 and you're you're a good apple girl. I hope everything's okay. And Angela is the one that she makes the calendar for for all the buyers to go in and see when the live sales are. So Angela does a lot of work. All right. Ooh, Nancy's four subs away from hitting four hundred. Listen. Go over to Nancy's This Overstuffed House. She has live sales, and she's got really cool stuff. She's got a lot of stuff in her Overstuffed House. So go check out her YouTube channel and subscribe. Let's get her to her. What was it, 400? Yes, 400. Oh, crummy days are not good. I had a very off day yesterday. Today's a little bit better. These live sales always make me feel a little bit better. Okay, so this next thing I'm about to show you are these things. Again, they aren't vintage, so I don't want to spend a lot of time on them. But I bought them recently, and I kept four for myself, and I'm selling four. And I'm asking a little bit a little bit of a price for them. However, they sell for much more than that on eBay. So if you buy them for me, you could still resell them on eBay and make a little bit of a profit. But I kept four of them for myself. They are these vintage... No, they're not vintage. They are not vintage. But it's Kate Spade, you can see there, placemats, and they're reversible. So this side is white and blue polka dots. This side is blue and white polka dots. I kept four for myself because I think that these are fun for winter to put on your table. They're in excellent condition. All of them have their original labels to them, Every all four of them. So you will get four in, in this lot. Um, they are $25 for the set of four of them, and they are number 28. And they are selling for more than that on eBay. Oh, yeah, 4th of July. Well, they're, and they're reversible, too, so you could use them, you know, for a couple different things. Shirley Pearl wants them. Shirley Pearl wants them. I like them, Shirley. Shirley Pearl, you and I are going to have matching tables. Soon as I actually I do I have some red ones I'm gonna put out for Fourth of July not Fourth of July for Valentine's Day, but um, I like them for winter, and they they sell for about thirty five to forty five dollars on eBay. So if you want to sell them on eBay, go right ahead. All right, um, where are we at? Oh, Megzy Woodsy was over Seth's 400th subscriber. Yay! Ooh, with the red cloth napkin. Yes. Okay, I have another offer up. Emma rolls her eyes every time I say I have an... But Emma, you're getting paid. This is your job today. 
So I'm making you work for your money. I love this. I've got a lot of people asking me about this. And it is this beautiful Napco Wear keycap. And the Napco Wear sticker is barely hanging on there, but it is stamped Napco Wear. Oops, right there. Oh, I did have her the right side way. Right there. But look at her. Look at her little sassy lashes and her little hat on her head. She is a planter. She's in excellent, excellent condition. Girl, my mom doesn't pay me for my services, says Sam. Hmm. She's un unimpressed, Sam. Emma's a hard cookie. She's over here glaring at me right now. She's a hard cookie, but I will whoop you. I will whoop you, daughter. All right, but look at her sassiness. She's holding a little flower in her hand. Okay, so we're going to start this at $10 for one minute. Emma is going to hit start. And then we'll get started on this Napco Wear keycat. Isn't she sassy? Oh, Karen's at 20. Karen, that's what I'm saying. If you want something, sometimes you just got to say your price. We're at $20. Okay, Brooke is at 25. She's in excellent condition. There's, she has a little bit of crazing around her ear right there and on each side. Okay, I'm seeing the aging beginner at 30. She's a sassy little girl. Yeah, I these are these cat planters are really they're they're getting harder and harder to find. You used to find them a lot, especially when you see a Miss Pris. If you see a Miss Pris somewhere out in the wild, run and grab it because the Miss Pris ones are blue. Ugh. All right. Emma's going to refresh. She is a cute, sassy kitty cat. I see Tammy Christofferson. Tammy Christofferson. Remember a long time ago I said, are you married to Chris Christofferson? I think you teased and you said that you were. Perfecting Pearls is having... What? When is your live sale? Is it today? Oh, I just really zoomed in on my face. No, I didn't mean to zoom in. That's what I said. I just really zoomed in. Ah! Oh my gosh, Emma, how do I fix it? You did. I don't know. Ah! Oh man. That was, oh, I already sold you. How did I sell her for? 42 to 40, Tammy. Oh, 42 to Tammy Christofferson. Oh. Sometimes you touch it and it just gets, it just blows you up. I don't need to look any bigger than what I am. Yes. Tammy, are you joking? Is he, he isn't your husband's cousin. You're going to get me going because I am pretty gullible. <laughs> Chris Christopherson, he's a fine looking man. I have beautiful skin. Well, I'm glad that you think so, Mary. You could see it real nice zoomed in on my face. Okay, Emma, it's about ready. To, we're about ready to see Emma flip her flip out because we're getting ready to do another hang offer on, up. Hang on, hang on, I need to give me a second. Is it true, Tammy? Oh my gosh! I feel like I'm talking to a celebrity right now, Chris Christopherson. <gasps> He is like the original, he was in the original Star is Born, wasn't he? Like the original one, Emma. Um, the, the good one. No, I think the new one's a good one. Like Chris one. Christopherson. Oh, and Sam Elliott. Oh. One of my favorite movies is Mask with Sam Elliott in it. Did you ever see that? Mm-mm. Chris Christopherson. Well, you have to say, Thrifter Junker Vintage Hunter thinks that you are... Anyway, You're I love my husband. <laughs> my husband. I love my husband, but Chris Christopherson. Okay, are you ready? Okay, so I have a lap blanket. A it's lap. Like a baby blanket. It's a lap. Well, no, that is way too small. It's small. But a lot of people, if they're in a wheelchair, they have it as a lap blanket. Sure. I should have brought my wheelchair. No. <laughs> No, my, um, what's that thing called? Tape measure. There's one there. 
Well, go get it for me. She brought me my ruler over, but that's not going to work. This is small. It's like a child size small, or it's um, for a, a, so someone that's in a wheelchair, like a lap blanket. So the measurements on this, because I didn't do it beforehand, is... It is about 34 inches wide and about 55 inches long. So it's small, but it's that granny square. It has, it has blues and pinks. This is black. So we're gonna start it as an offer up. We're gonna start it at $10. It's in excellent condition. It is freshly washed. Um, oh, yeah, Kevin Costner. Oh, okay, we're starting it at $10. <laughs> it's an offer up. So we're starting it at $10. Whoever has the highest offer after the timer goes off or in the types in start or stop will be the winner. Okay, I'm seeing Marty at $10. It's in excellent condition. Really fun colors for spring. You know, you could put this on the back of your couch too, just to add a little bit of color in the spring but it is a perfect size for a wheelchair lap blanket um, yeah the black I like the black too it really makes it a striking it, it, it's a striking color contrast and it won't be too bad to ship really I'll put it in a poly mailer so it'll be it'll be a little bit lighter to ship you have a black rocker oh Marty that would look great on the back of a black rocker yeah. Oh, yeah. The original was Judy Garland and then Barbara Streisand. Yeah. I want to watch that. Um, there was a Judy Garland movie with Renee Zellweger, and I want to watch it. I keep forgetting that I want to watch it. All right. What do you got, Emma? I have Tammy Vintage Tidbits. Oh, Tammy Vintage 26. Tidbits at 26. And you're local, so I don't even have to ship it. And do you still want your little Rimple Cow? Figurine, let me know. Richard Gear, mm-hmm. Yeah, that's a good one too. And um, George Clooney. <sighs> and was like, you're talking about all these old men. Man, remember George Clooney when ER when ER first came on? Man, oh, I loved him. I mean, I know he's been in other things besides that, but I just liked him in ER. That was great when it first started. I loved it. The movie Judy is excellent. Okay, I'm going to watch that. Oh, George Clooney. Yes, he's fine. Okay. Now, listen, I'll get through the rabbit hole. Like, I'm right now, I'm the royal family. I'm, like, watching everything I can get my hands on the royal family. And it was Joan Crawford was a lot, was, I... I'm not selling this, by the way, because Joan Crawford is everything. Um, Judy Garland is another one that I'll like go through it and I'll like watch every documentary I can find on her. He was Jackie's boyfriend, Roseanne. Uh, and he was on the Facts of Life, George Clooney. All right, now I think that this is Daisy and Buttons. I think that's what this pattern is. Isn't this pretty? Uh, and I found these at separate times. Now, at first I thought, oh, that's the bottom of a fairy lamp. But it is not. It does not have a groove for the fairy lamp to sit in. But could you imagine this as a fairy lamp? Oh, uh, yeah. I think this is Daisy and Buttons. Alex, is this Daisy and Buttons? But you get this little candy dish, open lidded candy dish. And then this little, um, this was an ashtray, believe it or not. It has the little grooves in that as well. Oh, the facts of life. Take the good. Okay, I just said that. It was rolling her eyes. Daisy and Buttons. But this, you could use this, like someone said they use it in their art projects and stuff. You could put the water in here and use it for your water. But isn't this moon and star, moon and buttons? Daisy, I thought it was Daisy and Buttons. Am I wrong? I probably am. But anyway, they're gorgeous. This pretty blue collar. Moon and star. Moon and star? Is it? Daisy and Button Dispensers. Oh. Moon and Star. Well, then maybe this was the bottom of a fairy lamp. I don't know. But I only have 
the bottom and not the top. But you do get both of them. I'm including them both together in one lot for $18, and they're number 50. You get both of them. $18, number 50. Oh, Sammy, I am going to watch that. I think I had seen that in my Netflix queue. All right, I see Rose Spangenberg. Catherine, I didn't know you and Randy collected this. I mean, I know you collected poodles and planters, but, well, shoot. I don't know my glassware. I don't, I don't pretend to know it. I just don't. I like it. I'm getting a little bit more comfortable with it, but I just think that it's pretty. If I find it's pretty, I buy it, and I think somebody else will like it. And plus, I don't have a re memory retention to remember anything. All right. Okay. Next, I have a piece of ephemera. A really cool piece of ephemera. That I think that is adorable because look at the snowman. Look, it's a little frosty. And he's pointing to these cans of peaches and ap apricots, probably. Um, better home canning the easy way with Honor Brands Fresh Frosted Fruits. Say that five times. Fresh Frosted Fruits. Look at the little snowman. Isn't he cute? And on the back, it, well, it tells you all the seven easy steps for perfect home canning. I mean, you could just buy this fruit in this box and then put it in a jar. That doesn't make much sense, but this is kind of a poster. Let me open it up. Well, I mean, it's just like a brochure thing, but it tells you all the things that you can do. But a really fun piece of ephemera. I myself would just display it just like this with a little snowman on it. I think that he's just fun. He's so cute, his little cheeks. This is $12 and it's number 61. Hi, Barb. I think Randy, I don't, Randy has sent me some pictures of her collections, but I don't know if she sent me piece of her moon and star or moon and see I know I can't even remember star. moon and stars I have vintage words sugar britches you know what sugar britches you should paint a picture can I just put sugar britches yeah you can just put sugar britches look at that you could put you could paint a picture a little frosty and he could be pointing to something fun I just ordered, and I will be filming it when I get it. I just ordered one of Sugar Britch's mystery boxes. And I know, I'm already expecting it. I already know she's going to put a clown in there too. She'd probably fill the whole darn box with clowns. So I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to open it on film. Sugar Britch's vintage roots. Vintage roots. You're back. Um, Sugar Britch's, I, I say Sugar Britch's, but... She is Vintage Roots Collection, and she has a YouTube channel. So make sure that you go check it out. And Sugar Britches is who painted. Look at how good this is. She painted. I, we lost my dog Brutus last year, and she painted me this picture. But look how fuzzy his fur is. Aww. And I always see Sugar Britches wherever I go. She, I always see little things that remind me of her. So go check out her YouTube channel as well. All right, who likes a chubby Jeffrey? <laughs> I'm selling chubby baby Jeff Jeff. He doesn't squeak anymore. He is a Yanita doll. Yanita doll, which I love. I love the name. It's Y or U N E E D A. Yanita doll, 1967. This is a Plumpies, Plumpies T M, or a little chubby baby Jeff Jeff. Look at little Jeff Jeff. I am selling. I'm selling him because I, I, I have, you know, I don't, I don't, one can, one doesn't need so many Jeff Jeffs in their life. So here we go. Aren't they fun? Look at this little bit. Look at how fat he is. Look at him. All right. So baby, chubby baby Jeff Jeff, you need a, is a $14 and number 11. Oh, it might be a spokesman for you, Nita. I don't, I never made that connection. It might be. Shannon Mumper. 
Look at how round he is. He's like a little blueberry. He doesn't squeak anymore, though. All right. Sharon, Shannon Mumper gets boy, look, blue boy chub Jeff. That's how I wrote it down on my post-it note. Jeffrey just loves that, too. He wishes that he, he probably wishes that he would have bought it. He doesn't. All right. Nortaki. Oh, these are beautiful. And I, I don't buy a lot of this stuff, but I saw these and I thought that they were really pretty. And you get you will get two of them in this offering. These are transfer, but look at the pretty blue pattern that goes all the way around it. This is Nortaki. And it's the Marn, which is the pattern name. But you get both of them, little berry bowls. And they're really nice. That will remain his name. Good, Shannon. That makes me happy. <laughs> I'm sure it makes him so happy, too. But look at these. Aren't they really pretty? And here, Alex, this is for you. That's for Alex. She likes that sound. So these are in excellent conditions. There's, there's no chips, cracks on them anywhere. You'll get both of them for $15, and they're number 44. $15 for the pair of them, number 44. Still making that sound. All right. Wait, Carol, you need to refresh. You're, I see you at number 11. But you need to refresh. These are $15, number 44, for the pair of Noritake, the Marn Bowls. All right, next I have an offer up. Emma? Yay! Well, you know what? I'm glad that you said that because that's what's next. It's what I just pulled. The Impoli Brandy Snifter. Isn't this beautiful? I actually thought about keeping this as well, but, you know, I didn't. Let me grab my, um, my little light. Well, it's not that majestic with just that amount of light in it, but isn't this beautiful? This is this beautiful blue, and it kind of has the block, the optic lines in it. But it's lovely, and it's in excellent condition. It has these air bubbles in it from it being kind of stretched and blown. It's beautiful. It looks like a big wine glass. It does look like a big wine glass. Or you could drink brandy in it, or you could sniff your brandy in it. But these look beautiful. It, yeah, I know. It does look good with the fairy lamp. It's almost the exact same color. These in, like, in front of the light source is just gorgeous when the sunlight goes through it isn't it beautiful this beautiful blue so we're going to start this as an offer up as well emma's we're going to start it at ten dollars when emma, emma's ready to go so we're going to start it at ten dollars after you see start you can do your offers you have the amber one Catherine. i have a smaller one that doesn't have the the optic lines in it but it's more of a teal and i think i might keep that one i'm not sure i i don't know i'm looking at it right now but we'll see i'm seeing karen at 20. Mm -hmm. oh, i see claudette at, okay blah, 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 blah. i see ruth lawrence at 42 dollars it's beautiful it's kind of hypnotic when you look at those lines isn't it pretty yeah i could have used a little, this full of wine 30 seconds left. It's lovely. And it will be packaged very, very carefully and nice. I'm, all right. I see you, uh, Ruth Lawrence at 40. No, no, no. Mm -hmm. Claudia, Claudia Hilton. She was the sniper. Claudia is the sniper. She got in there. And got it at $43. $43. Claudia, you were the first $43 one that I saw. Congratulations. It's lovely. Lovely. Okay. Next, we have another offer up. <laughs> Give me a second. <laughs> Hi, Michelle. Oh, I got groceries yesterday. I have... 
stabber. No, it's not really a stabber, but it kind of is. It's now this isn't blue, but I just pulled it and it was sitting on my table. So I'm going to do it. Look at the scroll work on this. Now I used this in, I know I used this when our shop was open because I had a few consigners and whenever they would sell something, I would take that ticket off and put it on this spike. And then at the end of the month, I would take their tickets and then I would, you know, pay them. But it is, well, like you can put, use one of these, receipts on it like, like that. I also have seen people, you turn these into, um, they'll put things on them like cloth and different pieces of wood to make them almost like a Christmas tree. It looks really, it looks really nice too, but it's just a, it's a, it's a, a poker. That's what I always call them. I put these on the poker, but this has beautiful scroll work in it. And it is an old one. You cannot see the nut that's there to, to, to fasten it because some of the newer ones, the reproduction ones, you can see there'll be a nut there. So it's kind of soldered in to the metal. So we're going to start this at $15. Oh yeah. Tree topper holders. I, yes, Alex. You could put a, um, like a vintage tree topper in here and use it as the, the stand for that. So we're going to start at $15 and you can start as soon as Emma says start. Yeah. Oh, where'd she go? Did you already type in start? I did. Okay, I'm not seeing it. All right. I see Shirley at 30. Yeah, these are nice. This one's an old one. And you can kind of tell, too, the metal is a little worn at the top. Yeah, you could use it as a weapon. That would pierce right. That would pe pierce right, that's enough. right through the bad parts. Um, Deanna is at 35. The scroll work on that is lovely. It's a nice, it's a heavy one too. It has a lot of weight to it. Yeah, you could do a lot of different things with this, but it would be, you know, you would have like your paper that you would spike through it. A spindle spike. I see $36. And Emma's going to refresh. Your first thing was thought was your toddler. Yeah, I wouldn't leave this out where people could get it. But luckily, I don't think Kelly's Moss Stone Stories children would. I think they're old enough that they're not, they're not going to be any shenanigans with it. But this is going to Kelly. It's beautiful. Beautiful. All right. Thank you, Kelly. How much was it? $42. $42 for Kelly. Thank you so much. Oh, I sold it, Michelle. Oh, gosh. Am I going to do this to you again? Give me a second, please. All right. I'll come back to it. I'm going to come back to it before Emma gets a little bad. All right. Now, I have two sets of these. Oh, I love these. They are these string art punch cups. Not sure who made these, but look at that teal string art. I have two sets of four. So I'm going to do these. The first two people that actually I'm going to, I'm going to do it this way. I'm going to just say the number and what I want, what I want for these. And then if the person that got it wants the other set for that price as well, then I will sell it. I, you know, sell them that, or we'll just take the next person in line because they may want a set of eight. So that's what we'll, that's what I'll do. So they are all in excellent condition. There are no, they're glass. They are glass. There's no chips or cracks on them anywhere. So I am asking $20 for a lot of four of them. These are hard to find. Look at the shape of the handle there. So they are this teal string art punch glasses. And they are number 36 for a set of four. Number 36, $20. Number 36 for a lot of four of them. All right, I see Shirley. So Shirley, do you want the other set of four as well? Or are you gonna give them the husband? What? 
Oh, okay. Well, I said I was going to see if she, the first number wanted them first. So, Shirley, do you want a set of eight? You do? You want a set of eight for 40? Okay. So, just write that down, set of eight for 40. Yeah, these are really nice. I wish I had the punch bowl. But here's the other set, too, just so you can see. They're just like it. So, $40 then? Yeah, for a set of eight. Mm -hmm. Gotcha. Yeah, I I was really happy when I found those. Those are a great thing to find. Yeah, but I just didn't know if someone wanted eight. I figured four was a safe. Was a safe. Oh, bye, Catherine. Oh, dumb errands. Be safe. Be safe. Okay, this came from my own personal collection because I was collecting lusterware for a little while and I go through phases. So now I've brought a lot of it here that I'm going to be selling, you know, in, in my sales each week. And I don't quite know. Well, I kind of have an idea of what I'm going to be start collecting next to put because I have these shelves and I have a collection of something on a shelf and it changes out. But this is a beautiful piece of lusterware and it's got the moriage here on the flowers and it's got these really pretty bluebirds there on the front. It's the peach and blue luster. Are these cherry blossoms? Is that what those are called? I don't know. But it's lovely. It even has some of the moriage that goes over onto the lid as well. And it's in excellent condition. No chips or cracks or flaws. It is the T and T in a diamond. Hand painted in Japan. Really pretty. This is $22 and it's number 18. Plum Blossom. $22, number 18 for the Luster Sugar. All right, I see Pickled Tink. Is that right? Yeah, at eight for number 18. Okay. And it still has the lid, right? All right, next I have these two doves. Now, gosh darn it. See, I can't remember. Somebody had told me what these were. Um, they are like a Matt McCoy feel. I don't know who made them. I Some people say Hager. I don't know. I don't know if they're Hager or not. Um, what were these called? Like turkey doves? Ugh. I don't know. But look at how proud they are. He is like, I'm a dove and I'm proud. They're in excellent condition. They're that really lovely Matt McCoy feel to them. They don't have any markings on them. This has a sticker on it that I need to take off still. Someone put their address label on the bottom of these. They didn't want anybody else to take off with these. Or if they got lost, they wanted to send them back to their address. But I have going to finish taking that off there. But they're in excellent condition. There is this one. And this Turtle one's... Loves. Turtle doves. Turtle doves. I don't know. Someone told me something else that their father raised them. So I'm not quite sure, but they're lovely. You get the set of them. So you get both of them for $20 and they're number 21. The set of them for $20 and they're number 21. Shannon Mumford. Shannon Mumford. At first I thought that they were um, turkeys, but they are not. They are not turkeys. They are a dove of some species. Carrier pigeons. No, I don't know if they're carrier pigeons. I, that's not the name that sounds familiar to me. Someone, the person messaged me. All right, now we're gonna do an offer up of some ephemera. I have a, a lot of ephemera. I will be doing lot, several of these recipe book lots because I do have a lot of them. Um, they are fat and proud. I'm, I understand that because so am I. All right, so there are four books in this lot. Here is New Magic in the Kitchen. Quick, easy recipes made with sweetened condensed milk. And this is like brand new. And it has color. I mean, the pages are still like kind of tight in there. It's kind of hard to open. But it does have color pictures on the inside. 
custard, just recipes that you can use condensed Eagle Bran. It's Eagle Bran milk. I'm trying to see if there's a... Um... Graham's in the chat. Huh? Graham's in the chat. Hi, Graham! But there's... Look at her. She's on NBC. Reading off these recipes. That looks good. So you get that one. And then meat. Selection and cooking of meat. Compliments of the National Livestock and Meat Board. I love the graphics on here. Look, she's like, hmm, how am I going to pick out the meat at the store? And that little kid's like, I don't care. Just feed me. So it just gives you an idea. This actually might be pretty good because I sometimes when I'm looking for like a roast, it does make you wonder which is the best roast to buy. So it just tells you the solution to beef buying problems. What to look for. So this might be pretty helpful if you have problems in that area. But there's that one. And I love the graphics on this one. This one is William McNess Cookbook. Oh, look at her. And look at them. They want that cake. They're drooling. Look at the cocoa tin and the vanilla. Look at that bowl. This is William McNess Cookbook. And it has different um, regions. Like there's Greece and Italy and Deutschland, Denmark. There's, um, oh, it's Hedda Hopper. Oh, y'all remember Hedda Hopper? She was the gossip columnist in the 50s. She was. Good old Hedda Hopper. Oh, look, Graham. Graham, can you, can you read that? Graham, Graham is learning how to read Japanese. Yes, Nikki, the fairy lamp has sold. So this one is fun. It's in excellent condition too. So you get that one as well. And then you get the recipe binder. It wasn't Japanese. I don't know. I figured you might know. <laughs> Your uncle sold McNest back in the 60s. Oh, this is way before the 60s. That's probably the 20s, I would say. So it's been around for a long time. But look at this binder. This is ivory snow. It's a compliment. So when someone would have a baby in the hospital, they would get this recipe binder. It still has the insert in here that says, Dear Mother, please accept our sincere congratulations and best wishes Nothing is too good for that baby of yours. That's why we want to, you know, that uh, to have and try as our gift the full size package of ivory snow. So they got a full size package of ivory snow, and then it has this little index recipe, and it has these envelopes in there, and these little tabs for cakes and pastries. This old paper, it's just fun. Someone had written that this was Pauline Purdy's recipe and some naughty child colored in pencil in it. I don't know. I just thought it was really cool. It was probably given at the hospital when you'd have a baby. So you'll get all four of these books in this lot. We're going to start it at $10. Whenever Emma types in start, then you can go ahead. It would make a fun junk journal. So we've got meat and new magic in the kitchen this uh, McNess cookbook and the fun recipe binder. So you get all four of these books in this lot. I'm seeing Kathy at 30. This would make a fun junk journal. I never even thought about that, but it would because it has all this paper already in it where you can, oh, look, I didn't realize there are even some recipes in here. Sunburst chiffon cake. Well, I didn't, there could be money tucked in here. I don't know. I didn't look in all the envelopes. There's probably, well, maybe that's the only one that has anything in it, but I thought they were fun. And they're blue. So it goes with my theme this week. All right, stop. Would I show new magic in the kitchen? Look, voila. Quick recipes. Look at her down there. Kathy Morrison, 34. Kathy Morrison at 34. Now, I will be each week. I still have some more ephemera, but I have several of these little recipe books, and I will be combining them in lots every week. So make sure you come back every Wednesday to check those out because I have a lot of them. 
All right. Next we have, ugh, these horrible things. Here, buy these horrible things. I hate them. But they're kind of cute, I guess. They're clowns. And they're, they're candle huggers. So you put these on your taper candles and scare everybody in your family with these. They're cute, but, I mean, they're clowns. So, there they are. I think that they are a home painted piece. But, I don't know, Joanne, are you watching? Joanne likes clowns. They're $16 for the set, and they're $34. No, <laughs> $16, number 34, for the creepy clowns. Look at their eyes. Ugh. Yeah, nope. I agree, Shannon. But they're blue, so they fit in with my theme today. $16, number 34. Cheryl. Who? Cheryl Hoskins. Cheryl Hoskins. Why is my... There we go. Cheryl Hoskins. Sorry, Graham. I always have nightmares about clowns, especially Peanut the Clown. He was the worst. All right, next we've got a cute little pie bird. Now, I don't think that this is too... Vin I mean, it's vintage, but it's not like an antique or anything. It's just a cute little pie bird. You could still use this. It's just a little pottery pie bird. If you use pie birds on your in your pies, you can definitely use it still. It's $8 and it's number 66. It kind of looks like it's that little bit of like a sponge paint on it. No chips or cracks on it. $8, number 66, the little pie bird. See the aging beginner. I'm gonna start going a little bit quicker. <laughs> I, got, I still have quite a bit of things to go. Woo. All right, next I have a flash painted. So with the glass, it's, it's a clear glass that's been painted blue. This chubby little pig. Look at the little wrinkles on his forehead. Oh, his little chubby cheeks. He is, doesn't have any maker's mark on him at all, but he's, he's one of the smashers. So you can't open him up unless you drop him on the floor like I just about did. But he doesn't have any chips or cracks on him. I like his texture. He's $14 and he's number 27. With a little pig. A little blue pig bank. $14, number 27. You did. I sold the, the uh, kitty planter. Whoa! Oh my word. Did you see that? You can get the, oh yeah, you can. People tell me that all the time, but I don't have the patience for that. But you can like shake him and like get a knife in there and get the money out. But $14, number 27 for the pig. All right. I keep, that's like the third time today I've done that. So I don't know what the deal is. My phone's being ultra sensitive. All right, next I've got these cute little, bug shakers they're made in japan they are bisque don't like the way that they feel this guy still has his little tag string on there but they're a little bug band they're in a band and they're bugs and they're bisque oh that's a lot of bees they're made in japan see aren't they kind of cute the little bug band bug band bisque salt and pepper pepper shakers they are ten dollars and they are number 15. They have, they're a little blue. He's got a little blue wings on him. $10, number 15. I think it's because I keep touching my screen because my chat keeps going away. All right, I see Sue Golombeski. Sue has that fun name to say. Sue Golombeski. All right, next. Uh, oh, I love these. I almost kept these, but I didn't. They are fun. They are funky and fun. I have two of them, so two people will get the chance to get them if they would like. This is all the tag. Okay, but they're these vintage. Uh, these are screen prints by Seiko, uh, California. They are made in the USA, 86% uh, cotton and 14% polyester. Aren't these fun and funky? The blue and the green together with the fruits. Here is the tag. They both have their tag. They are in excellent 
near new condition. They're not, they, they can hardly, you can hardly feel that they've been used. And I almost kept these, but I have a little bit of a, an addiction to these vintage towels and I can barely close my drawers in my kitchen because I have a lot of them. There's just nothing like a vintage towel. So I have two of them. Um, so the first two people that comment will get them. Or if one person wants both, then. Well, we're, we're not going to do it that way. We're going to do it this way this okay. time. They are $8 each, and they are number 48. So the first two people to type in the number 48 will get them for $8. All right, I see Hot Mess Vintage, who had a great sale yesterday on Instagram. Make sure that you're following her on see, Instagram. She both. Is she the only one? Okay. So far. They're yours, they're both yours. So $16 for the two vintage, I love these. They're both in excellent condition. There's just, there is nothing like a vintage towel. The new stuff they make is crap. The old stuff is great. It's great. All right, next I have the sweet little planter. Now. I have said that I'm, I'm going to try to do this within the next couple weeks. I'm going to do an air plant mystery box. I'm going to include some little vessels such as this guy, for example, and I'm going to include some air plants. So you'll get a air, couple air plants and some vessels that you can put your air plants in. So, but I am selling this little guy here. Look at his face. He's so unimpressed with having an air plant vessel. But he's holding a basket, great for an air plant. He's made in Japan. No chips or cracks on him. He is $8 and he is number eight. $8, number eight. He's got on yellow pants and a blue shirt and hat. $8, number eight for the little Japan planter. I see Sharon Olson. I have to order the air plants. I need to order myself some more either because I've had a couple that have just not done too well this winter. And air plants are, you can just stick an air plant in this guy. No dirt, no anything. Stick a little air plant in there, put them in a, next to a light source, soak your air plants in water for 30 minutes once a week. Sundays are bath, is bath day for my air plants, but there have been some weeks that I have forgotten. So I think that's why mine have not done very well. Okay, the next I have this hand-blown blue little ewer or vase. Now this is different. This is, it's, it's, it has a texture to it that I cannot, I can't, I don't know how to describe it. But you can see, see you can see it, but it's like, it to me it, it feels like someone has taken a rock and just, it has a texture to it. I don't know if this is a technique. It's not paint, it's a texture to it. But it does have this applied handle. You can see there, isn't the handle is really nice. At first I thought it was like a little creature leering in side the vase, but it's just like a little blob. It's applied handle. It is hand blown. You can see there on the bottom. It's gritty. It is. It's very gritty. Uh, this is $16 and it's number five. Sandy. Pete, you're having all, all these adjectives that I could not think of, but those are perfect. Gritty, Sandy. Both great adjectives to describe this. $16, number five. I see Rose Spannenberg. Did I say it wrong? Well, how do you say Spang Spangenberg? Spangenberg. Tuesday evenings at 6.30 Central on Instagram or is Hot Mess Vintage. So make sure you follow her on Instagram. See, I said it correctly, Emma. So on you. That's all I have to say. Who likes Holly Hobby? Y'all remember Holly Hobby? Look at Holly Hobby. Bye, Kelly. 
Look at her. She is, it's a needlepoint, Holly Hobby. This is a very lightweight pillow. It is, they've used foam in this pillow. So it's very lightweight. So it'll be really light to ship. But there's a little Holly Hobby on there. Isn't that pretty? She's in a little quilt work fabric with a little bit of lace around her. She is $14 and she's number 24. $14, number 24 for the cute little Holly Hobby. Holly Hobby was back in my day. My first doll was a Holly Hobby doll. I see Shirley Pearl. Shirley, that would be nice padding for some of the glassware that you bought today. So that'll make it nice. Yeah, the fairy lamp sold. I mean, I'm, I'm not sad that it sold, but it sold. This piece is something that dad has picked up and I it isn't it isn't it's vintage but it's not like vintage I mean it's made to look very art deco I think but here it is it's this pure dragon perfume bottle but it's chonky it's a chonky glass perfume bottle and it has red and blue inside the stopper the stopper does have a little chip right there on the inside the inside there is kind of frosted there and it has like i don't know if there was like a paper label on here but on both sides you know it's kind of flat there but on the on the bottom it says it's made in china for one thing it's Fifth Avenue Crystal Limited. And I didn't look this up, so who knows? Oop, there we go. Fifth Avenue Crystal. This is heavy. It's a chonky piece of glass. So I am selling it for $20. It's beautiful. It looks really pretty with the light reflected on it. And it's number 23. $20. Number 23 for the heavy glass Fifth Avenue crystal bottle. All right, I see Myrna Spratt. How much $20. All right, all right, all right, all right. Who said that? Another handsome fella in this world. All right, next I have a brooch lot. So I'm selling all four of them as one lot. And I'll show each of them to you. Maybe I should get a piece of white paper. So there is a, this brooch with the blue stones, just a little round brooch and a gold bezel. So that's the first one. The second one is, the, and none of these have a name on them is this blue and green with in a silver bezel, also lobster claw clasp. And then this one, no name on it either, lobster claw clasp with these light blue stones. Yeah, I didn't look it up. So someone probably got a great deal, but I got what I needed to get out of it. That's what matters to me. And then this one, now this one is older and I can just tell by the, the metal. It's a very thin metal, molded metal. It's a little bonnet. Now that color on here on the metal is a light blue with a green rhinestone. Isn't that pretty for Easter? So you'll get all the perfume. Oh, well, then Marina got a really good deal. But I got what I needed to get out of it, and that's all that matters to me. That's the art of reselling in a nutshell. Some, I mean, you sell things for what you need to get out of it, and someone keeps it for themselves, that's fine. If they resell it, then that's great. I encourage that. All right, so you do get all four of these brooches in this lot for $18, and they, oh, it's going to be impossible for me to, yeah, see? But that's what happens. Oh, I didn't see that, Ivy. Uh, Jamie Mid-Century Wasted had a whole Christmas tree made out of brooches. 
$18 for the lot of four, and it's number 67. $18, number 67 for the lot of brooches. I agree, Hot Mess Vintage. Catching some good deals. I have bought lots of things on live sales, Instagram sales, and YouTube sales that I have resold. I see, sure, no, Carmen Elf, Elvgen. Carmen. Got the brooch. And I used to get customers that would come into the brick and mortar all the time as resellers. And, and I don't, I mean, I go into places and it, you find a good deal on something and you resell it. That's just, the, it's the circle of life, you know? Yes, this one's going to be, we're going to sell this one at the end, Carmen. It's going to be at the end. Hats why we're here. <laughs> but I like that. Hats why we're here. All right, thermos. I have a great blue thermos with a nice handle. And it's blue and it's striped and it's made by Thermos Brand. But how great is this for display? Now, it is metal. There is a little bit of wear right there in the paint. And I and it has the the cap and the glass insert is not shattered. So it's still intact. I like that it has the handle on it too. But there is some spots of wear on the metal. Nice for display. It is $16. And it is number 17. $16 number 17. For the blue striped. Thermos brand thermos. And I have put this lid on here crooked. Well, we'll worry about that later. Thrift you. Thrift you. Is this Sam or Sarah? Because I know Sam was here, but then had to leave because of homeschooling. You said $65? Mm hmm Sometimes you put the wrong thing for some reason. Well. I didn't this time. Oh, this baby mug. This is the cutest thing. It is this creature. We don't know what kind of animal this is, but he's dreaming of this dog smoking a pipe. We don't know why. But he is sleeping, dreaming of that dog with a pipe. Okay, gotcha. And now, so, okay, will you write on that thermos? Send to Sarah mm -hmm. and I'll I'll know who to send it to but I need to have a note or I'll forget but look at that look at that dog or creature bear I don't know but he's dreaming of this bulldog smoking a pipe so we, we're just gonna let him do that we don't know why but we're gonna let him dream about his dog smoking the pipe this little mug is not marked but I believe it's probably made in Japan I like the little blue stripe around the rim and on the um, you know, that thing. <laughs> it is $8 and it's number 26. $8, number 26 for the creature dreaming of the bulldog smoking the pipe. It's just fun. Hot mess vintage. Is that baby mug? Baby mug. Number 26. All right, we're getting down there, guys. Okay, I have a lot of two tins that are both blue in color. Oh, you have a mug collection? I didn't know. The first thing you get is this Raleigh's medicated ointment for the reliefs of cold discomfort and congestion. So it's kind of like an old time Vicks Vapor Rub. But look at the flowers on there. Isn't that lovely? So you could put this in a display and display something on top of it and people could see the side of that tin. So there's that one. So you get that one and you'll get uh, Edgeworth Extra High Grade Sliced Pipe Tobacco. It's a hinged pipe tobacco box. About the size of the secrets. Remember the secrets? Throat lozenges. Man, those were good. They're like candy. But this is for pipe tobacco. And it still has the remnants of the tax stamp on it, which I like. So you do get both of these in this lot for $8 and 
number 53. $8, number 53 for the two tens. I see my Alex girl. Is that who you see? Alex! Chapter 2 Vintage Co. It's the tens. Alex, I can't wait till the plague's over and I can go down and visit my mom and I'm going to go and visit you. Okay, I have gotten so many um, people talking and messaging me about these. And when Jeffrey was here, he came over here and looked and he was like, ooh, those are cool. They are cool. They are salt and pepper shakers, but there are these fish. Look at them. What kind of fish are they? They're fishes with lashes. That's what kind they are. They're like a tail fin, like a Japanese blue goldfish. I don't know. But look at them. Now, they do not have their stoppers. But, wow. I have never seen these. I love the shape of them. They got little handles, kind of. Isn't that great? They're in excellent condition, but they do not have the stoppers. But And they do have crazy, which I love. They're lashy fishes, aren't they? They are $60. And they're number four. Look at that. <whistles> they are saucy, sassy fish shakers. $16, number four. I see Shirley Pearl. You're going to go Shirley's house, little sassy. Little sassies. They do. They, they. You know what? I bet you maybe they, well, would they, you think they would be napkin holders as well as pepper shakers? I don't know. But they are so cute. I've never seen them before. I have another lot. A doily lot of blue and white doilies. So you get this one. It's a little circular blue do blue and white doily. And then you get this other circular blue and white doily. doily. It's a little bit bigger. Huh? Isn't that nice? They're not the exact same pattern, but they're the same color. And you do get both of them. They're in excellent condition. There's no tears on them. This one does have a little bit of probably like a tea stain right there but i leave it i like it the way that it is they are you get the set of them for twelve dollars and they're number 57. twelve dollars number 57. Ooh, you could do something with purses with this i like the, the you guys have such creative ideas with this stuff and i just i just don't i'm like it's a doily i'll use it as a doily shirley shirley pearl Shirley Pearl. Oh, I about dropped your doilies on the floor, Shirley. Okay, I have these labeled. When I was sitting down and, and doing my cards last night, I took my list home with me and I was like, two men figures, what are they? But they're these. I love them. Now, there is another, I think it's, a, well, okay, let me just show them to you first. We've got the butcher. And the baker. Is it the candlestick maker? Are we missing the candlestick maker? Was that that nursery rhyme? But we have the butcher and the baker. And I think the candlestick maker. Look at his striped pants and his bald head. I just, I don't know. I like these little figurines. But I love the blue collaring in them. He's got a big loaf of bread. This is a man after my own heart. If my husband walked in my door and had a big loaf of bread for me for Valentine's Day, that would be better than any flowers that he could get me. And I really don't want my husband walking in with knives in his hand. So we'll we'll leave him first another day. Another, another. What about cheese? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Unless he had some cheese. Emma, you're so smart. Some A knife and a big old block of cheese. So we'll just say that. But I like how he's like all portly and fat. And this guy's like tall and skinny. I don't know. But we're missing the candlestick maker. Maybe you have the candlestick maker out there. And you need the, the butcher and the baker. But you're going to get both of these fellas for $12. And they're number 39. $12, number 39. 
I like, like he has little gold accents on his apron. Isn't that fun? The cheese maker. I just like them. Look at his little bald head. They're just fun. I like figurines. I always have. I've always been a collector of figurines, even as a child. I liked figurines. All right, I missed that. Who got these? Shannon Mumper. Shannon Mumper, you got these. And weren't they so cute? I love figurines. I think that's why I like salt and pepper shakers, too, is because they're kind of figurine-esque, you know? <laughs> Okay, day or 10. These have become pretty popular. Um, the cracker tins or the biscuit tins. This Dayher, Dayher which is an English company uh, made in England, designed by Dayher in Long Island, New York, was made in England, dated 1971. This one is a little bit of a newer one. But you can see here, it's really fun. It's blue. This can be, I use these plate racks a lot, so you can display, I would probably get a silver one. This is just one I have is black, or maybe even a gold one. I've got a gold one right here. So you can display it. There we go, that blends in a little bit better. So you can add a display with this blue collar in. This is $8, and it's number 62. $8, number 62, for the Dare metal. It's not ceramic. It's it's metal. 10. Deanna Dill. Deanna Dill. Deanna Dill. All right, a couple more things, guys. Oh, we have three things left and then the bonus brooch. Okay, now I have, it's ephemera time. Oh, bye. Those plate racks, they are at Dollar Tree. Yep, I've gotten several of these plate racks from Dollar Tree and from Goodwill. I, I buy a lot of them from Goodwill. I used to use a lot of the plate racks and stuff in my shop. Okay, I have three of these. I have three of these. These beautiful, old, reliable coffee litho store cards. These are original. They're not reproductions. They're in great condition. And each one of them has their string for hanging. Look at her. Oh, she's lovely. Old, reliable coffee. Always, always the same. Always good. That's a weird advertising. Always the same. Always good. But it worked for them. So I have three of these. So what I'm going to do is I have them priced and the first three people that show up with typing in that number will get them. So I have three of them. They are all in the same condition. They were purchased all together. So I think they were just, you know, they've always been kind of stacked together. So they're all exactly the same. Here's the back. I will package these nice. And I will, I'll put them in cardboard so they won't, will not bend in shipping. Uh, so they are $20 each, $20 each, and they are number 56. So the first three people that type in 56 will get an old, reliable coffee. You could frame these. I actually used to have one in a frame. Old Reliable Coffee Store Cards. They're kind of like a cardboard. Okay, I see uh, Christine Benson, Auntie Sash, and Carol Verbeerst. Not sure what year these are. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't look them up. But they're in excellent condition. I am collecting, and I have, I'm going to make a gallery wall, but I love these girls. Love them. So I'm making a gallery wall in my bedroom. Hopefully soon, but I will package these to where they will arrive to you unscathed. Okay. You got that, sis? Yeah, can you not do it all throughout tonight so I can finish doing Okay. This? All right. Okay, I have another kind of creepy thing, but... Oh, bye, Angela. Nope, they're not calendars. They're store cards. Like advertisement cards. Like, you, they'd, they'd be hung up. 
um, in like a general store to advertise for the coffee. You said $20 each, right? $20 each. Okay. Yeah. I said your last name exactly right. Good, because that doesn't always happen. So, yay. So, I have this that I don't like. I mean, I, it's cute, but it's got a clown on it. So, I don't like it for that. And when I showed this in my haul, it's a little tea towel with a clown on it that says glasses. And he's got little glasses down at his feet. And when I first saw that, I thought, oh, that's cute. It's a glass to clean. It's a towel to clean your glasses. No, Misty. It's a tea towel to dry your glasses with a clown on it. But this is vintage and it has been pressed, not by me, by the person that I bought it off of. Um, but it's nicely folded and pressed so you could display it so nicely in your kitchen if you'd like. Little clown with glasses. Or it says glasses. But this is $14.00. And it's number 29. $14. It's in excellent conditions. There's no stains or rips or tears in it. $14, number 29. I see Sarah Lee Coleman. It's got these nice blue stripes on it. I don't like clowns, but I mean, sometimes, I mean, I do buy clown things. If it passes the cute test, and that did, it passed the cute test. Okay, the last thing I have, I think, is an offer up. Other than my bonus brooch, let me just scan my table. Oh, well, I, I do have one more thing that I can add that's sitting right there. So, but this is ephemera, and it's a lot. It's a lot of ephemera. There's calendars. I think they're all calendars. Yeah, they're all calendars. They're all vintage I think they're all vintage and um, three vintage and one antique, three vintage and one antique calendar. So the first one and they all but one of them are blue, but I just, I made a lot. This first one is cleaners or yeah, cleaners of merit, Taylor shop, telephone A5-5287, 1920 Broadway. Um, and it is this man with a sitting next to a globe who that looks like, um, gosh, that looks like somebody, but he's sitting next to a globe, which I like, but here is the calendar and it says, uh, life's greatest gift, a year of time. And the calendar is pieced together by this little piece of yarn. It starts January, 1948. So it is, I love how it's attached by yarn. It's an excellent, Will Rogers. Do you think that's Will Rogers maybe? <gasps> I wonder if it is. You know what? It says E. Strabel, he was a good neighbor. Copyright, man, I don't know. It has, the litho has some writing on there. Okay, it, yeah, that's what I was thinking of, Sarah Lee. It does look like the dad from the Waltons. Yes. Okay, so there's that one. And then you also get this fine dandy lady. She's a cowgirl. And this is Lewis and Gulky Shoe Store from Alexandria, Indiana. And it is dated 1963. And honestly, this one from 1947 is in better shape than that one. But it's on cardboard here, and this is the Western, it says Western Sweetheart. So I don't know if this is somebody. I don't think that it's, um, oh, what was Will Roger's wife's name? I don't think that it's her. I don't know. Dale Evans. You think that's Dale? It might be. But uh, and then it also has, like, underneath the litho, it has important dates to remember and telephone numbers. So you get that one and this one. Now, the litho on this has a little bit of parts that are torn and missing. Um, but it does have all of the calendar intact. So that's you get that one and that one. Then you get this one. Now, this one's not blue, but I've just, I've just done it. Oh, I'm going to do them as a lot. I'm going to do them as a lot. 
This one is 1932 by the West Mental Bakery in El Paso, Texas. Our wholesome and delicious baked goods keep children happy and healthy. It's dated 1932 and it kind of has this gold foil. And it also starts with January. It has all of the months of the year underneath there. This lithograph says, The Loved Ones at Home by C.C. Chambers. Um, in, printed in the USA. It said 1930, but the calendar on the date is 1932. Um, what's the first? Friday? Huh? Where did you see the calendar? January. Yeah, it goes with our month this, this month. Oh, it does. I didn't even think about that. Mm -hmm. So the calendar is in line with 2021. So, or, yeah. Yeah. Okay. But the litho on this is beautiful. And it's like this. We, we've got Jesus right here and all of the people sitting around the table. And it says, the uh, loved ones at home. It's beautiful. This, this lithograph is just beautiful in there. So there's that one. And this one is antique. So you will get this one as well. So there's a lot of four of the vintage and antique calendars. This one is a calendar for the year. It's dated January 1916. And it has this beautiful lithograph in here of, um, it's a tree, like a water scene. There's a man fishing in a boat right there. It doesn't say, there's no information on this lithograph, but this is in, this is over 100 years old, and it's in stunning condition never been used it's on this cardboard with this green and tan mat isn't this pretty so you will get all four of these calendars in this lot and call me crazy but i'm gonna sell them all together but i'm starting the offers at 40 dollars. so we're going to do it for one minute and i'm starting it at 40 dollars so we'll see how it goes. But these are, you get all four of them in this lot. So Emma, go ahead and type in start. We're starting it at $40. It's basically $10 a piece right now, which is a great deal. So we'll see how it goes. But you will get all four of these vintage and antique calendars. And some of them are close to being antiques. This one is 1948 with Papa Walton's on it let's say um we've got the cowgirl western sweetheart it's 1963 intact i'm seeing sue golombeski was the first one i'm seeing at 40 then we have the west mantle bakery in el paso texas and it is 1932 and then we have this one. This antique one is dated 1916. Honestly, this one is probably the one that's in the best condition. It's old. And it's the oldest. It's beautiful. And I will have some more of these calendars. I have a lot of this ephemera. All right. Did you type in stop? I sure did. Okay. And Emma's going to refresh. The newest one, 1963, is probably in, I mean, it's still in okay condition, but it isn't in near as good condition as the other three. Let me just I go. Tiger Purple at 60. Okay, Tiger Purple, you got them at $60. So all four of them are coming to you. And then I have, I actually have two more things. So Emma, just hold your horses. You're just going to have to make, this was laying here and I forgot about it. Okay. Hold on. The, Okay, well, I'll just talk about it while you get it ready. This, I have two more things. This is a rolled calendar. And I'll roll it down so you can see. Ooh, ah, ooh, ah. Okay, this is Eastern Kentucky Bus Lines Incorporated. Grayson, Kentucky. And it is, oh, be careful. It is dated January 1947. It is intact with all of the months there. These mallard ducks. So this could be laid out. You could put a couple heavy books on top of it to kind of lay it out and press it. Um, but it's in nice condition. It is 
um, who is this? W E no W Lowell, I think. Mallards in flight. Mallards in flight. So this is sixteen dollars, and it's number seventy. Sixteen dollars, number seventy for the nineteen forty-seven Mallards in flight. Kentucky, Eastern Kentucky bus lines calendar. Roll that back up. I see Mickey Michelle D. I think I said your name right. And then I, the last thing I, well, I have my pen, but this was sitting here and I forgot about this, but this is a vintage coloring book. And it's, I loved it. Look at her. It's sugar britches. Sugar Britches, it's you again. I told you you're following me everywhere I go. It's Little Sugar Britches. It's the Golden Hours coloring book. Animals, children, dot picture, pictures, puzzles, and games. It is made by the Merrill Company. Um, it doesn't say the copyright, but I'm going to say it's in the 1950s. But now some of the pages have been colored in, but look at the graphics in here. And the cover is coming off of the binding just a little bit. So there, some of the pages are colored in, but look at Sugar Britches again. Her showing her business to that dog over there. You're a bad girl, Sugar Britches. Pull your dress down. Mary's dog hid her shoes. Can you find Mary's two shoes for her? Well, Mary, why are you showing the dog your goods? But anyway, but some of the pages have been colored in. Some of the dots of dots have been done. But a very fine job, honestly. So this is $16, and it's number 80. $16, number 80. It's front and back. Front and back. $16, number 80. Look, they're building a snowman. The artist made six mistakes in this picture. I love those where you're trying to find. Um, I remember Highlights magazines used to do those. There's a deer. Randy girl, there's a deer. $16, number 80. All right, I see Mary Grubbs. Look at the little fuzzy kitty cat. It looks like Mr. Fluffer Pants. All right, and then the last thing is this brooch, is the bonus brooch. And I'm gonna, the drawing. And the drawing, right. And the drawing. So this last item is the brooch. I'll take it off of my shirt so you can see it's a little kind of a stick brooch but it does have the lobster claw um a closure clasp and some of the the little pink here on the flower is coming off a little bit but it's really pretty and this is what did i say it was uh, yeah twelve dollars number 69 twelve dollars Number 69 for the bonus brooch. Carmen Elfkin. Carmen Elfkin. You got it. Yeah, I am too. I, I, I'm trying to... I've got a lot of brooches too. So we're bringing the brooches back, right? All right. Now I have the giveaway. And... Oops. There's another card down there. What should I call it? I, Bonus brooch. No, the new, the next thing. The next thing you're about to do. The bonus brooch. I'm getting ready to do the drawing. That's it. You just sold the bonus brooch. Yeah, and now I'm going to do the drawing. Okay. What's the next thing I'm going to do? Well, you're just going to draw yeah. more. What so, should I call it on the list? Oh, well, you're just going to add it to the person's whose number it was. Okay. All right. Are we ready? Let me mix these up real good. I do have two things that I didn't sell. So I'll, maybe I'll show those real quick first, just to see, so I can add the number in. I've got these two Noritake berry bowls, the Marn pattern. pattern. They are $15, number 44. $15, number 44 for the two Noritake, the Marn pattern berry bowls. So those didn't sell. And I have the blue piggy bank. Clear glass, flash painted blue piggy bank. 
It was $14, number 27. So those are the last, those are the two things that did not sell before I pick the winner. All right. Now, we're going to do the drawing. For the prize, where'd he go? He's hiding in here. Is this little frozen Charlotte holding her little baby. Made in occupied Japan. So let's see who the winner is. What am I calling that thing? The prize. Okay. I don't know what it is. The winner is number 14. So who won number four, or who got number 14? CLC. CLC! Connie, you win the little girl. You are the winner, number 14. She's going to come to you, Connie. So just put down prize winner. And that's it. That was a long sale. I'm going to try to make them not, uh, not as long. But I, I just did this time. So I just did this time. Okay. So thank you so much for watching and sticking through me and through this with my non-focus day, but it happens. Um, I will be working on invoices the next two days. So you'll either get an invoice from me today or no, tomorrow or Friday. And um, shipping, I will I mean, I, I get stuff out fast because I, I need to. I need to just move this stuff on. So make sure that you subscribe. If you're not subscribed, I do these sales every Wednesday at one o'clock Eastern Standard Time. Next week, I'm going to have a lot of Valentine's Day. It's not going to be a full Valentine's Day sale, but I am going to start going through some of the Valentine things that I have. Make sure that you tune in to Michelle Comfy Cozy Living. Her sale is tomorrow at one o'clock Eastern Standard Time. Alex, uh, or no, Jeffrey Real Nifty Vintage. His sale is this Friday night at 7.30 Eastern. He's doing all Valentine's Day things. And then Alex Chapter 2 Vintage Company. Her sale is on Sunday at one o'clock. So make sure that you tune into that. We have our live four-way sales every Thursday. This week, it'll be on Michelle Comfy Cozy's channel. Take a look at the calendar of the, all the live sales that were, will be happening this week. Pretty much every time of the day, there's a live sale going on. So if you just turn on your subscriptions, all of the channels that you are subscribed to that are having live sales, they will all appear. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. And I will be getting your invoices out soon. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.